Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. How are you all? It's going to be a lovely day today. Really lovely day. Sun's going to be shining. We had music on from 6am this morning, singing and dancing, which isn't like our Hannah, you know. I think it was something to do with our cat did a coffee run for us all this morning. So we're all very awake. And of course, we're surrounded by loveliness. So we've got our gorgeous Kerry who's going to be joining us 8 o'clock this, this hour and at 10 o'clock as well with some great demos. Starting as always, as we do, with the early birds. Uh, now, I know that there's a lot going on behind the scenes at the moment. I shouldn't really probably say this on air, but because of everything that is going on, um, there is somebody who is forgetting, I think, to take some of the early birds off the website. So, what I suggest is if you get today's early bird, if you love a saving, if you wake up every morning at eight o'clock to see savings like this, uh, like this, three pound saving, uh, then type in early bird on the website. Grab all the early birds this morning. So, you're getting five fat quarters for 11 99 Great price. Bearing in mind, I mean, I love all of these sort of natural fat quarter designs. You've got uh, your spot. You've got almost like you, yeah, it's quite Frenchy, isn't it? Well, it is French, isn't it? De France. Uh, it makes it £2.39 a fat quarter. Brilliant value. Those of you that have seen uh, Debbie Shaw, uh, her vintage book, there's so many beautiful projects that you can make these out with. Maybe you're upcycling. I think recently I've been thinking more so about, obviously we're all thinking about it, aren't we? More sustainability and how to upcycle and how to reuse things. So any empty jars that you have, I don't know why, I keep going through all the pickled onions. <laughs> pickled onions and gherkins and things like this. <laughs> Not because I've got any weird cravings because I'm pregnant, I'm just going to start that now because Hannah's like, everyone's going to think you're pregnant saying that. Um, no, but I just love pickled onions and I've been keeping all of the jars and I'm going to wrap them all in like nice hessian with lace and I've seen so, so many beautiful things from Debbie's books. She did it with a coffee mug, didn't she, a couple of weeks ago. But these are going to be ideal for things like that or even just covering jars and uh, there's so much that you can do. £11.99 with a saving of £3. Now, I'm just going to be really, really careful. I'm not going to open all of these out, but let me open up one so you can see what... A fat quarter is how about making bunting we've been doing lots in the house lately how about you want to maybe brighten up your workroom or you know bring some beautiful country kitchen feel to to your uh, to your kitchen you could do some lovely little bunting 11 pounds 99 lisa wilcox cat's mom she's uh she oh no she wants to um <laughs> Do you want a phone number as well whilst I'm giving it a home address? Um, so Lisa, Lisa uh, wants some bunting for her kitchen. I think this would be ideal for it because it still has that sort of country kitchen feel, doesn't it? And that's a fat quarter. So I know that they're folded, that they look quite small, but actually you get loads of fabric to play around with. Price is brilliant. It is an early bird, <laughs> it is an early bird special, as I say, and I do love as well these ones so you've got the beautiful beautiful sort of go on let's open it Do you know what i'm doing it i'd like to open this one three four fat quarters sorry how about if you were to line a wicker basket and put a lovely um a ciabatta or a tiger bread or or any of your little sewing bits because look it's got sewing bits haberdashery bits cover a notebook or make a pin cushion there's so much that you're going to be able to do with these do you know what? I love these little labels. You could cut them out and have them as little labels, couldn't you? Uh, and they're not all in, I, I don't know why I call it the French one, because they're actually in, in, in English, aren't they? <laughs> Your antique quilt jackets. They're beautiful. So there's this one. And then you also have this one. Oh, there's so much you can do. What about like a nice little bread basket, storage tubs, covering flower pots? I know that's what you like to do, Hannah, isn't it? Hannah's got so many lovely indoor plants and outdoor plants. She's very, very good at gardening, our Hannah. £11.99, and remember, you're getting all four fat quarters. It's a saving of £3. Pack of five, sorry. Pack of five. Hang on. So you have... Oh, yes. So you have two... One of them's he slightly heavier than the other. So this one's slightly heavier weight than this one. Um, so yeah, these would be brilliant for like, I I'm thinking even cushion bags or uh, soft furnishings, they're lovely. So you're getting five fat quarters, brilliant value for money. 
There's so many treats today. If you're opening your order nice and early, remember you're only paying one post in packaging all day long. And trust me, you're gonna wanna use that uh, benefit of having one PMP all day because we've got so much going on. As I say, we've got Living in Loveliness, brand new kits, brand new kits, patterns for the first time on their own. Patterns on their own for the first time ever. And I must say, we've got some exclusive prices as well. Uh, some that we've seen in the past that we're bringing to you on their own. Also, I don't want to do this straight away, but it's going to reveal my glass. Of water. No, it's not. There we go. Uh, right. We're going to do this at nine o'clock. I can't believe I'm able to say this. It's back in stock. Eagle eyes. Make the most of this on the website already. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. It is the Prim Mini Iron. It's absolutely brilliant and it's um, back in stock. We've been waiting for so long. We have been waiting for so long to be able to get that back in. So definitely make the most of it. We're going to uh, bring the graphics lab at nine o'clock and bring it back to stock. Now, also, we've got some brand new fabrics that are coming up in the next hour. I'm just going to shimmy these here. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. Look at this. If I open this out, look at the ombre of colour. Isn't that gorgeous? We've got so many different colours. We've got a whole selection, different colours. Again, nine o'clock. I look at the pink as well. They're all absolutely beautiful. Once again, nine o'clock, but eagle eyes. I'm just letting you know now. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? The ombre of colour. That is beautiful. Tell you what, you get loads and a half metres, don't you? That's so nice. You can make so much thinking tumbling blocks because you've got actually three different shades, your dark, your medium and your light, haven't you? Just with one half metre. So very excited to launch those again at nine o'clock. They're on the website now though, as are the patterns. They're already selling. Also, we've got a sewing machine show at uh, 11 o'clock. But I'm just going to warn you about the 570. I know I've been talking about it the last three days. It's all set up with, for, for Kerry ready to go. But they're the graphics if you want it, as we now have less than five of those available. available. I was talking to Hayley about this, and she said this was supposed to be our stop for the whole of July and August for a two-month supply. So I don't know. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some... Uh, September maybe, I can't say that for certain. In fact, Hannah's saying it won't be. Uh, okay, that was from Elna yesterday. So this was supposed to last us for two months. So we're definitely not gonna be able to get any before September. If you do want to make the most of the amazing deal, it's only available while stocks last. It's 599 pounds, I would seriously have a think about it. If you have been over the last few days, get any questions in for us. We're going to use it all the way through the show with Kerry. So if you've got any questions about it, let me know. But um, we will talk about it in more depth later on at 11 o'clock. Now, if you do want to get in touch with us, do it on the email address studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Um, of course, you can also get in touch via Facebook, which is pretty nice and easy to do. Find us on Facebook, Sewing Street TV. And yeah, you can send in any quick questions to us here in the studio. Now, you can just about see it on the end of the desk. I'll have a good look at it with Kerry, but we've got a Christmas quilt. Right, so I was complaining that I was, I'm not in, I'm not in this weekend for the Christmas weekend. So when Kerry said to me, we've got a Christmas colorway on our pinwheel quilt, I was so, so happy. Um, we've got the most beautiful kits. First quilt I've seen with Kerry as well, which is exciting. We've got bags, we've got the cushion. Let me show you the cushion that she's gonna bring later. Sneaky peek. Love living and loveliness. Honestly, they're such beautiful, beautiful kits. If you do want to have a look at any of the kits prior to the show, then what you can do is search. How do we search on the website to find them? Right, you won't be able to do it prior. When it comes up at the top of the graphics of the screen, I'm going to tell you now just because when we uh, get chatting, you know what Carrie and I like, we're just going to keep going, so I'll probably forget to tell you. But at the top of the screen, you'll see the item code number. If you jot that down, you'll need to search it. You will need to search it on the website. Um, I would definitely get a pen and paper. If you're ringing up, it's probably easier just to jot the code down so you have that to hand. Gremlins on our website this morning, so if you can have your phone or pen and paper handy. So, first of all, the Chris let's start with Christmas. Christmas quilt kit. You know how much we love Kerry's kits. There's so uh, there's so much thought and attention to detail that's gone into them. The wrapping, the designing, even down to the designing of her instructions. Every last detail is so precious. Before I open it, I love doing the big grand reveal with Kerry's kits because I just feel that we're in this real luxury, like high 
Marie Anne Boutique where they wrap everything up beautifully and packed with loveliness. Straight away, you already feel that, uh, you know, the, the passion and the love that Kerry has. And those of you that have met her before, you know, oh, she's just amazing. So I'm going to do this as carefully as possible. So inside, you're getting, oh, you're getting the most beautiful Christmas fabric. <gasps> Look at that metallic gold. Oh, I don't know whether you can see it on screen, but outlining every single one of these holly, holly sprigs, you've got the most beautiful metallic gold and the dots on the spotty fabric is metallic as well. That for me is classic Christmas. I must say, don't get me wrong, I love going to the garden centre at Christmas and seeing all the different displays where they do all these modern ones with upside down trees and like purples and silvers and blues, but... Nothing can beat classic green, gold, red, warmth. Oh, beautiful. I think no matter what theme you're doing with Christmas or if you're gifting things to people, it's just always going to last. It's timeless. So you get your fabric, which we'll talk through with Kerry in a second. You also get your strips ready for your binding. How good is that? So you've got your strips there ready to go. Plus then you also get your instructions. Now it will go through everything you need. It's a 50 inch square quilt. And it's gorgeous. Those of you, maybe this is your first big quilt. Maybe you got wadding yesterday by the half meter. Oh, I think there's down to 100 units of that left. That's it. Um, so if you do want to make the most of it, if you purchase this, your code is there at the top of the screen. H Y L 1 7. No. Sorry, I'm not looking at the, I'm just looking at the screen. It's uh, H Y L 1 9 4. 194. Uh, so HYL194 is the code. Brilliant. Okay, so that's the Christmas bundle. I'll just do one other colourway of the uh, of the pinwheel quilt. We will be demoing this later on in the show as well. So the pinwheel quilt uh, in a floral colourway. This is beautiful as well. They're all, I just absolutely love, love, love the uh, the packaging, the tissue paper, it, I think if you're gifting, it's experience, isn't it? I think already, straight away, this is your treat, isn't it? This is something that you instantly, I find, you'll almost like respect it more, you'll start it and, and enjoy the sewing. Now this looks like white, it's not. The detail with Kerry's kit is amazing because actually it's got, it's the white on white, it's the white on white pattern in it. So you'll just about see it, I think, on screen, look at that. Yeah, I can see it. How gorgeous is that? See, I tell you what, Kerry, that is attention to detail. Didn't need to do that. Did not need to do that. But it is just beautiful. Love it. So you're getting uh, your fabrics. This floral is gorgeous as well. That colour is beautiful. And that's going to be perfect for all year round, isn't it? £44.99. So you get your fabrics. You get all of your strips ready to go for your binding. And you also get your instructions. You get your pattern, £44. That's a fantastic price for a quilt kit, isn't it? Quilt kit. And remember, the code is TAL192. TAL192. That is your code, which you'll need to type into the search bar on the web shop or speak to the customer service team. Now, shall we do the pattern on its own? If you've got fabric in your stash, which I know so many of us have, uh, we obviously have got a fantastic relationship with Kerry and we're very, very lucky to have her on board. She's eagerly waiting in the wings. So we'll get her on in just a second. But I must say, honestly, we are so lucky to have these patterns at these prices. Um, that is <laughs> exclusively uh, at that price for us. No one else has got it at that price point. So absolutely make the most of it. Thank you ever so much to Kerry who's allowed us to be able to bring it to you at the best price possible. It's 11 .99. Search your code. It's KRL129. KRL129 is your item code number for the pattern on its own. It's the first time we've offered the patterns on its own. It's so exciting and at an exclusive price as well. Okay, now. As I told you, there's so much going on today. This is what we're going to start with today. We're going to start the demo with Kerry with this one. I absolutely adore it. And I love that along with Kerry's kit, we're learning new techniques and we're learning new designs. We're learning a bit of free motion here. Now, if you've never done free motion before, 
Stay tuned and we will demystify it all for you. Make it really lovely and simple. This is a great tote bag, but then it makes it so much more sort of personal, doesn't it? When you're adding all these beautiful, beautiful flowers and free motion. So we'll start with the Michael Miller. I've not seen, um, I've not seen Kerry do any uh, Michael Miller yet. This is so beautiful. We've got Michael Miller option and we've also got Riley Blake. So this again, wrapped tissue paper, beautiful little sticker, lots of love, Kerry, £23.99. And in here da -da 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 -da, is everything that you need, all wrapped beautifully, your fabrics, you get your gorgeous quality wadding in there. You've also got your webbing. You've got your felt. And I must say, they're really nice quality felts. Lovely colourways. Really nice colourways for your flowers. Your strap. And also your pattern. So you've got all of your templates and your instructions in there. See, if you don't normally do free motion, um, or if you don't normally do... Um, it, you know, if you don't normally work with felt, then you might not have little bits like this in, in your scraps. So it's lovely to be able to know that you've got everything. You end up paying more because you're getting bigger sheets. So this is perfect to be able to just have what you need for your bag. I must say, I love that Michael Miller fabric. This one is stunning, isn't it? That's such a beautiful, beautiful colour. It goes so, so well. Okay, so that's your Michael Miller option. I'm, I'm going quite quickly through these as I'm aware we want to get carry on and do as much demo as possible. The code is at the top of the screen. It's WYL186, WYL186. If you do want to check out, speak to the team with your item code number or of course jump to the web. We've got one other colorway option for the bag and this is your Riley Blake. Look, she's even done me a little key and everything. Thank you. This is your Alana um, bag. This is so beautiful. Now, those of you that love this fabric, which I know so many of you do, I tell you what, I feel like it's Christmas come early. Christmas come early opening all these presents. So, once again, this fabric, not just white, it's the white on white. It's tension to detail. It's beautiful Riley Blake prints. Kerry was ironing the, um, her pieces ready to, to do and she was literally going, oh, this is so gorgeous. We never get fed up with this. Uh, it is one that every single time you see it, you're like, oh my word, it's so beautiful. I almost see different details. It's one every single time. Maybe if you've made a few different projects, I like the idea of having all your matching, a collection of your Riley Blakes. It's so designer and it goes beautifully with your spearmint. You've also got your white, you've got your lovely um, wadding. You then also, of course, have your felt, your webbing, and you're getting all of your patterns, your templates, everything that you need. I tell you what, less than 25 pounds for everything. That is really good, isn't it? Brilliant value for money as well. Absolutely brilliant price. Remember, the code is BGL157. I'm so, so sorry that we've had the gremlins. It's only coming up on the website when you search the code. So please do make sure you're jotting down all of the colorways and then you can just decide, put a little tick which one you're going for or which ones you're going for. So it wasn't just the first pattern that we were offering exclusively at our special price. It is also with the bag. So you will not be able to find it at this price point, this affordable anywhere else. How is this less than 10 pounds? Hannah? Oh my word. That is so good. I don't know. We will talk to Kerry about this. Honestly, we are so, so lucky to be able to bring you these at these prices. This is your tote bag pattern and it's less than 10 pounds. Beautiful attention to detail, tried and tested. Of course, you've got all of your pattern pieces, everything that you need in there. If you've got lots of fabric in your stash, maybe got some of your favorite fabrics, or I'll tell you what, that makes a lovely gift for somebody, doesn't it? It still has the sticker, packed with loveliness from Kerry. So if you are thinking of a gift for somebody, I think that would make a beautiful, beautiful gift. If you know someone that's got lots of fabric in their stash ready to go, just nine pounds, 99. First time ever that we're offering patterns on their own. Remember your code is TOL153, TOL153. Now we're gonna start with the tote bag. We're gonna start with a free motion bag and then we're gonna go on to the pinwheel kit. So we've got loads and loads to do. Spend this time checking out of your order. This is how you shop. 
Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. It's so lovely to be back it's with you. It's very exciting to be here with you today. How are you? I'm very well. You look you? gorgeous as always. New dress. New dress today. <laughs> we're keeping on busy making lots of dresses. And I've got a Christmas one for tomorrow. Oh, I was so you're here oh, no, today. I'm excited. Tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, lovely way very to spend the end exciting. of the week. Uh, so, the Michael Miller option, by the way, we are extremely limited. Can we have a look around the bag? Tell us about yes. the, the bag design. Yep. Um, so, you've got. Um, in your kit, it all comes with you. There's plenty of fabrics in your kit there to make the collection. As you said, it's got everything that you need in there. Something new that we've added to the patterns so it's easy for you to work out, which is option one, two and three, is you get a little key um, that ah, comes... So that wasn't just for me, that comes in the that kit. That comes in the kit too. So that's to make it easier for you to know which piece is for your kit there. Um, at the top, we've got that lovely white on white and then the two fabrics to complement each other. Comes with all your um, felt as well, so everything in there to make the bag, including your handles as well. And we've got some nice, simple free motion. So if you're thinking about having a go with free motion and you've never done it before, or if you just want an easy project to do, then this is great. And I particularly like um, how easy it is to you know, do a little bit of free motion. If you're just testing it um, on the felt, then I think that gives that a lovely effect. Is the bag lined? Yes, it's fully Ooh, lined. So lovely. it's fully lined and then you've also got your batting in there as well. Amazing. So everything that you need. I think it just gives it a nice feel when you've got all of your batting. So I don't need any I don't need to add anything to the kit no, other than just your thread, thread in your and machine. Your yeah. And you're ready to go. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. By the way, the Michael Miller kit is the one that's made up and there's already how many did you say sorry? Less than 15 left. Do remember, please, will you search the code as well? So the main graphic is WYL186. <laughs> Brilliant. Over to you, Karen. So we're going to make um, option two with the Riley Blake today. So the same as all of my patterns, you'll notice on each of the templates that each template has a letter allocated to it. And it just makes it a little easier, especially if you're new to sewing, if you just place um, using just a fabric pen, write your numbers on each of the letters as I refer to these throughout the pattern. And it's a, to be honest, it's a nice, easy, simple, and f you know I like fast projects anyway. Yeah. <laughs> do like simple and we do like fast. So it's a nice fast project to make and it's perfect for your shopping as well. So you, mm. you know, you've got your reusable bag there. So we're simply to start this off. I'm not sure whether you can see that there, but definitely- oh, beautiful, isn't it? That the white print on white. this is beautiful. There's a nice little floral print on there. I'm not sure whether you can see it, but just make sure that you have that the right way. Okay. Um, that's the first thing. And we've also got your batting. So what I tend to do with every project that I do is just lay them out in the order that they're going. So, might work if I put them in the correct <laughs> order here. So we're simply bringing the top panel over and lining that up there with a the middle panel, which is your B piece. And just slide in a few pins or clips into there, keep it nice and easy. And we're just going to use just our standard quarter inch seam allowance on here and just sew those two pieces together. You're doing this automatically, but you're pinning away from where you're going to sew as well, aren't yes. you? Yes, so what I tend to do with pins is I tend to do lots of different projects, which means I'll get part way through a project and I'll start doing something else. I tend to use my pins <laughs> as arrows, so I always point them to the raw edge oh, that I'm going to sew. Tip. So whenever I return back to the project, if something's come yeah. up, or if I've just got a limited time, then I remember which edge I'm sewing. Good idea. And to keep it nice and fast, we're then going to bring the bottom panel. So bringing the bottom panel to that centre panel, aligning that raw edge, and again, because this is the seam I'm going to pin, I'm actually pinning towards myself this time. 
So but you're not pinning into your wadding yet, are you? Not into the wadding just yet. We're just simply sewing this, these seams together. And when we pop it onto the wadding in a moment, then we'll sew onto there. So again, just using that straight stitch there. We've been playing with free motion this morning. Oh, you so you dogs. <laughs> we'll just return that back. Now this machine doesn't come with a free motion foot, by the way, but you can actually, I wasn't sure, but it does, you can add on a free motion foot to it and do your free motion on there as well, which is great. We'll show you that in a bit. Fab. So we're just pinning along that seam on both sides. Let's just not lose our flowers. <laughs> So we'll be all organised and I'm pushing them off the table as we're sewing. <laughs> and I must say, we did feel very organised this morning, weren't we? I, I start to feel worried if we feel really organised. Oh no, it's a great way to be in the morning. <laughs> we get to listen to your stories then. <laughs> Just so you know, the Michael Miller, by the way, is now single figures. Um, the Michael Miller, this option, is uh, the Michael Miller. Remember, it's WYL186. If you do want that option, we're less than 10. That one will sell out in the next few minutes, I would presume. <gasps> You'll notice as well that I never really tend to remove the pins, and that's because I always leave them a good finger space back from the edge. Okay. Again, just speeds up time, so I'm not coming into contact with those pins. I'm always leaving them far enough back. We'll just move this to one side for now. And all we're going to do now is press the seams. And we'll press the seams just into the centre there because that's our darker fabric. Oh, at nine o'clock, remember, Prim Mini Iron is back. I do love this little iron. It is a nice, handy little iron. Sometimes yeah. I find, especially when you're pressing seams, having a larger iron. Yeah. Can... Oh, it really makes the world yeah. of difference. And for space as well, mm -hmm. if you've, you know, you've got a small sewing area, it's yeah. really ideal for, for space as well. So we've just got the front panel, I just dropped a little bit of water right there, we've got the front panel put together ready and this time we're now going to pop this onto the batting, centering that there on the batting. And this step is entirely up to yourself, I do particularly like adding um, a little bit of quilting at the top here, so just to, make a, just to make a little piece of it we're going to just simply sew across there. Oh, this is where if you've got this machine or if you've got a machine that's got these fancy stitches, you could do like, do a, like a fancy stitch. Yeah, you could do like a floral sort of decorative stitch and you complement or contrast Absolutely. colour. And just pick up a colour, you know, pick that's up a colour from your fabric. Um, we've got the nice colour from the centre there. I am just going to do um, a straight stitch on here today. But of course, if you've got that decorative stitch on your machine, then definitely, definitely use those. And when I'm doing the straight stitch, I'm just increasing the stitch. It travels across the fabric a little faster, but also I think by increasing the stitch, it actually looks nicer on the batting as well. So, you, you haven't put a walking foot on it. It seems to be handling yeah. all good actually, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So we're only sewing a short distance. So if we were going to do so a little later when we do the quilt, then I definitely recommend using yeah. your walking foot. For, but for small projects like this, I tend not to change yeah. mine over. Some people um, always will, but I tend not to. So all I'm doing here is I've just sewn across the top and then I'm lining up the side of the foot with that seam and again just sewing, allowing the side of my machine foot to run along that seam line there. And this step is optional as well, so you don't have to do this step in the kit if you don't want to. I've lost all of those little flowers say, now. Don't lose I've still managed to do that. Let's just move those out of the way before they end up on the floor. There we go. And again, the same on the top. So it just secures your fabric nicely to the batting and also gives it that nice plush, that nice finish yeah. as well. I say, you sounded so much like a mum of three there. <laughs> Let's just move these out of the way so they don't end up on the floor. You said it really calmly <laughs> like a mum. <mob>. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> yeah, you were just really calm. I was like watching it. Oh no, they're going to go on. <laughs> yes, we're in the summer holidays now, so although Back it to, doesn't feel yeah. much different actually. No. Although you're not so worried about doing your homeschooling now because you're no. on summer holidays That's officially. It. That's it. So we could, if we wanted to, get up a little later yeah. and not have to check into that class dojo and download everything. That's quite nice. <laughs> that is quite nice. I have to say, the teachers have worked incredibly well yeah. um, during this time. I have to say, they've they probably... Need a break. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. We need one, so they must need one. 
there we go. So you've got um, your front panel now. I'm just going to trim away that excess batting on there. So we want it actually to finish at the same size as our, um, as our panel there. And then in your kit, there are some templates in there for you to create these flowers and also the leaves as well. But that's not to say that you couldn't design something for yourself. So you could absolutely use that felt if perhaps you didn't want to do a flower. You might have some templates that you want to use. And I'm oh, just going to look idea. for my spray. So it's entirely up to yourself, although in your kit. And I've seen this made a few times and people do put their own spin on things, which is always lovely to see in a kit as well. So just using a little bit of 505 spray here. Just a little amount. Uh, it's seven ninety nine. Really, really useful. I think a lot of people who do quilting will be familiar with five hundred five. It is a temporary sort of yeah. Just fix, it's just to it? hold this into place. And on the bag, there is actually three flowers. But just for today's um, demonstration, I'm just going to pop two on here. And so we're simply just placing those flowers into the centre. Do you have time to adjust it with the 505? Yeah, absolutely. So if you oh, want to move those. And what I would recommend... Better than Bonderweb then, if you're Oh yeah, reason. absolutely. And it's faster as well, and we only need it temporary while we're doing the free motion in just a moment. And what I would say is, because we are actually going... We're not going to do it live today, um, but you do box the corners of the bag, so just make sure they're a good sort of four finger spaces from the edge, otherwise your flowers will fold into the sides, and you really want to see those on the front of your bag. This again, all of these steps and pictures to complement it are all in the pattern, so don't worry about remembering that. Brilliant. And then the next thing we're going to do is just a little bit of a wiggly line to create our stem, just from the flower down to that second seam. You could go all the way to the bottom, but I haven't in mine. Are you using so a friction pen? So we're using a friction if pen. If you don't um, follow that line completely when you're sewing, it doesn't matter because that no. will iron out, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. So I quite like, I always think of friction pens as my, as my sat-nav really. So yeah. even when I know where I'm going, I still put the sat-nav oh, on it, but it makes too. me feel much better. So that's why I tend to do this with any kind of free motion. If you've just got a little bit of a doodle there, it just gives you a guideline, especially if you're new. If you're creative and good at drawing, I'm not very good at drawing. That's why I particularly love having the friction pen. Then you could just free motion it. Brilliant. You could just go for it. So I'm just going to change the foot over and the settings on your machine. So the one thing to remember when you're doing any free motion is you need to drop your feed dogs. And on this machine here, which is a very beautiful machine, I have to say, <laughs> it's very quiet. Um, we're just going to drop this back. So we're just moving this to the left and that drops our feed dogs there. Sometimes they're on the side. There's buttons, aren't there, on the yeah. side or all yeah. over. Just so you know, by the way, the Riley Blake option is the one with the graphics alive for now, which is the one that Kerry's working with. You do get everything that you need in the bundle, including all your felt, your fabrics, your uh, strap, your wadding, all that you need to add it's your sewing machine and thread. That's it. And it's $23.99. Now, just a reminder, I'm so sorry that you need to do this, but it, you will need to search the code. Jot down the code on your phone or on a piece of paper and speak to the customer service team. Or you can search it on the website, which is BGL157. Uh, in fact, Kat, can we show everybody where that search bar is on the website? Just while Kerry's changing over the foot. Oh, that was... We did it. That was, I was technical. Was drop the oh, you did it. Brilliant. <laughs> um, the, that was um, very technical. Did you see that as well at home? Like a window pop up. It's all right, Kat. Sorry. I'll put you on the spot. <laughs> it's okay. That was very quick. Was yeah, we'll let you have a little was breather, Kat. She just panicked. <laughs> So we're not worrying about pinning any of the flowers into place because we've already secured them there with the glue. We've got our batting. You can use um, free motion gloves if you've got them in your collection and it's definitely worth using. Now a couple of options if you're using a free motion pen. If you have a little look on the bag, perhaps if I just show on the bag, it's really nice and simple what we're going to do today is we're following the contours of that line that we've drawn on there. We're just simply going to go Around the, flare, um, around the leaf a couple of times. I always think by going around two or three times, it really gives um, your project that definition and makes it pop. But also, especially if you knew two free motion is it takes away that pressure of getting your lines absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. It really adds to the texture on there. And then if you look just onto Maybe the flare as well. Maybe if we show on well, the overhead, it's probably gonna be easier to see closer. There we go, shall I hold it there? Thank you. There you go. You so really it. nice and easy. All we're going to do is to go around the outside of the flower. I've gone around twice. And then we go into the centre, just create that centre there. And it's really nice and easy. There's just three stems, if you like, just coming from each point of there. 
each point of the I quite like that it's, it's like doodle. Just a do you know doodle. What I mean? Like, I think when I first started, I was thinking, oh my word, I have to get, when you go around a couple of times, they have to be identical. Like, yeah. And they don't. And it actually adds more charm to it. it. Definitely. And that's why, certainly with the stem and, and the leaves, you know, that's why we go around it a few times. Because as you say, it does really add lots more charm to it. But I also think from doing lots of classes with this, that it just takes away that pressure to get it absolutely accurate on that line as well. And it just allows you to free, yeah. be free on your machine. So we're just resting, um, starting off by just using that guideline that we've drawn ourselves there. And let's have a little look, see if the machine, What's I thought it was gonna misbehave for us then. So first of all, I'm just simply following the contours of that line down to the bottom of that section there. And then look, you're not pivoting, you're actually sewing backwards. I'm sewing backwards. Does it feel strange? Will it feel when strange? When you first start, if you're, if you're, if you're used to um, doing a lot of straight sewing, then yes, it does. It's <laughs> very strange to get your head around it. But actually, I think this is a great project for somebody who's just starting out because you're not used to all those straight lines. Yeah. So if you're new to free motion, you can keep it nice and slow. And we're just onto the leaf there. I actually find it easier going quicker. I feel yeah. like you oh, yeah, more I do, even. Yeah. If you go too slow, I end up all my stitches being yeah. different. And lengths. the thing to take into consideration as well when you're doing your free motion is you are in complete control of where your machine moves. So again, we're just coming onto the leaf here. We can jump straight across onto there. I can just see my leaf has moved there. And we're just coming onto that leaf and just going around there two or three times to really give some definition and we'll have a little look closer at that in just a moment and because of the simple design of the leaf you can see I'm just going forward and back almost on myself and that's the thing that's strange is that you're bringing the fabric um, back onto yourself. When I'm moving from the leaf back onto my stem then I'm just raising the presser foot and teasing the cotton across. You can cut those joining threads afterwards right. just so they're not all attached together. You can if you want to of course and the same when we go onto the flower so just raising the presser foot and just jumping onto that flower there. Like I say, I think actually it's a really nice one to practice with because there's not too many real sort of intricate shapes that you're doing. No, they're nice and easy. And also you'll see the flower as well has got a few curves on there. So you haven't got to worry about getting those straight or a perfect curve either. And what's quite nice about using a contrasting thread is that you can see all of your stitch lines on there. You look very relaxed. When I've oh, done it, actually, my um, your I shoulders. Find yeah, I feel like I'm in a strange position and I get to breathe. But you're talking and sewing. It's a talent. <laughs> <laughs> I talk all the time. I never talk. <laughs> I never stop. <laughs> I never stop. I think that's why my husband really likes that I'm doing this now because I've got somebody else. I can leave him, leave him alone. I can have a little chat with somebody else. <laughs> so we've just finished on the outside of the flare and what we're going to do is now start in the centre. Each time I'm just leaving that joining thread and we can cut that joining thread at our leisure just so it doesn't get knotted up just there. I can see that coming into contact with the foot. So I am going to trim that thread so it's not knotting up on my project. And the nice thing about the circle, especially if you're new, is we, we want to create this freedom mm -hmm. with our hands and just by going around it just allows you to relax doing that. Now in the, um, in the pattern as well, there is a couple of pages mm -hmm. um, in there. You're welcome to have a little look. And there's a practice piece in there as well. Oh. So there's a couple of steps in there that recommends that you cut two 10 and a half inch strips, yeah. two 10 and a half inch squares, sorry. Yeah. And a 10 and a half inch square of batting as well. This isn't included in the kit. Okay. But if you're new to free motion, it talks you exactly through what to do and just gives you some practice yeah. recommendations. Oh, brilliant. I mean, it is very, very thorough. I know how much time you spend I do, I do putting look together good. all of your instructions to make them as clear as possible. This homeschooling's really helped me as well because I have now decided, I always knew anyway that I much prefer a picture book, so that's yeah. why I like putting lots of pictures into the project. I must say this free motion section on here as well is very, very thorough and very clear with your photographs. Do you take all your photographs yourself yeah. as you're going along? Yeah. And what I tend to do is write the pattern and and write the instructions out, test it again, and then I do send them off to be tested as well. So I do have them tested. Um, I've got a lovely lady who comes to my classes, Bridget. She's been testing the cushion and the quilt for me. Oh, I'd like to test a cushion. Do you want to test a cushion? Oh, do you, want do you to mean test like 
You mean um, testing the pattern? Pattern. Not to sleep. I oh, I very much. I'd like to test the bag out and test the uh, cushion. Yeah. I love it. Maybe, maybe when we're finished with the demos at the studio, you can have the Michael Miller one. <laughs> Just, just forever. You don't have to just test it. You can, you can keep it. <laughs> you can put your games in They're there. So lovely. Oh no. Right. So I bored everybody this morning. Carrie was the only one who was pretending to be. I wasn't uh, pretending. I genuinely love playing games. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a board game today. Uh, obviously, we were busy prepping, so uh, Hannah was obviously like, "Okay, I don't know when you expect us to Hannah play." Hannah wasn't this. loving it. She wasn't loving it. No. She she didn't hide the fact she wasn't. She didn't loving hide it. it. She kept saying things that she was supposed to be thinking, but she said out loud, which weren't very nice about my game. <laughs> I'm going to try your game as well, your board game that yeah. you said about the one on the telly. The one on the telly. Oh, we, d we do love, we genuinely do love games. Actually, we're going away this weekend, so I'm going to see if I can get a copy of the game you've been showing us. So that, that's a good <laughs> thing. There you go, look. Thank you. We like your games. Maybe next time I come, we'll stay around a little yeah, bit after the show and yeah. play a game. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you do make me laugh. So that's it. It's really nice and easy. You can see on there, it's just moving your fabric around. You haven't got to worry about getting this absolutely perfect. The, the great thing about free motion is that it's your design and just, just have a play with it. You know, just be fun. You've, of course, got the back of the bag as well. So um, you could put another design on there. There oh. isn't enough felt to do the back of the bag, but if you've got some felt in your collections, you could have another little mm -hmm. go on the back or perhaps do a different design, so whichever yeah. way you hold your bag. But that's really just a nice, simple way to create that free motion on there. And I think it's quite nice when you're out shopping to just have a little, a little okay. pretty fabric there. Absolutely, I love that. So that's the Riley Blake option. Uh, there are less than 15 of the Riley Blake option. Uh, in fact, the single figures now, Hannah's just updated it and had a look, the single figures of both. So check out as soon as you can. Obviously, all of the instructions for the box bag and how to construct it is, is yeah. in your pattern. Obviously, in there. Obviously, we want to show how to do the, uh, the, the pinwheel cut as well this hour. But just so you know, the instructions on their own are available. It's the first time that we've offered I the know, pattern. I know, how exciting. Though. And there are a special price. They are. They're actually, they're actually more cost effective to buy through Sewing Street than even my website. So exclusive to Sewing Street. Thank you for that. That's so <laughs> exciting. £9.99. So if you've got fabric at home already that you, you know, you, you've got a specific fabric in mind for this bag, why not get the pattern? And again, this would make a lovely gift for somebody, yes. wouldn't it? Yes. Really lovely gift. Less than £10 for that pattern. So Let's have a look at this Christmas quilt. Shall we have a little look? Oh, I'm oh, so, so excited, excited. I'm so excited. I do absolutely adore Christmas. So when, um, I'm when I was asked to bring... Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, what? So what was it, sorry? When, so uh, when, I, when I was asked to do it, I was like, can we just sneak a bit of Christmas in there as well? So we'll do a nice floral, but as I'm on tomorrow with Christmas, it would be fabulous to have a nice Christmas. And also, you've got plenty of time now if you're starting to make your quilts. I actually feel like I'm quite behind with Christmas. Um, but if you're starting to make your quilts, then this is the perfect time. So you've got a few months now to get ready and to make this beautiful pinwheel quilt. It is a nice, simple design. It's a big quilt though, isn't it's it? It's a nice big quilt, yeah. Perfect lap quilt. Perfect for snuggling up in front of... Uh, Christmas front films. Of, oh yeah. Christmas films. Christmas films have started. No, they've not. Christmas <gasps> films have started. Have they? Yeah. I know there was a I designated channel apparently that was starting to be just Christmas just films. Just Christmas fighting. Yes. It's beautiful fabric and I find these colourways so yeah. nostalgic. I, I have to say, I, I did have the black Christmas tree um, did a few you? years ago. Can, yeah, can I always remember when they sort of first started and I thought, oh, who would have a black tree? And then the year later I had a black tree with all of the, um, you know, the contemporary colours yeah. on there. But actually I have to say I'm always drawn to, I'm always drawn to Christmas. So we have gone back to a traditional. Yeah. We've got a couple depending on the, yeah. how we feel during the year. So in this kit, I went through it earlier, you get all of your fabric, everything right, that you yeah. need. So your binding, oh, that's your binding, I think. So your binding, your fabrics, and of course, of course, and all of, course of your instruction, pattern. everything that you need. Um, it is such gorgeous quality, it is isn't it? It's beautiful fabric, beautiful fabric, nice, nice to cut and um, really nice and easy to sew with as well. And it's a nice, simple pattern. So if you're thinking that you perhaps just want a nice, easy quilt to make, or if you're starting out in quilting, then this is, this is perfect really, because it's nice, simple techniques. So you've got enough fabric in there to make the top. Your binding's already being pre-cut for you. I did bring the binding. I'm not sure whether we'll have chance to, for me to show you how to attach your binding on there. But I do like anything that's um, easy to cut. 
and um, easy to sew, really nice. Obviously, project. you've got your Christmas way, which is the code HYL194. Kerry's going to be working with the other colourway, which other is option. the lovely floral as well. That's got a lovely, it. it's like a violety blue, isn't it? It's a really, almost like Palmer Violet. It's so pretty. Everything that Kerry picks for I a kit. do love floral. I think oh, you probably know. So pretty. I do love floral. So I just wanted to show you really how to get the most from your fabrics. So you can fold your fabric, so make sure just always start by pressing your fabrics okay. making sure there's no folds in your fabric and what i tend to do to cut a piece of fabric because it's quite wide i think this fabric's 55 inches wide it will sit onto your cutting mat um, i'm not going to show you that today but i do want to show you how fast this is to cut down and how fast it is to prepare your fabrics so i've already gone ahead um, and cut two strips and when you're sewing this block together we want to sew it pattern facing so what we're going to do is to just place this onto the cutting mat in line with the bottom bold line at the bottom there and then we're going to face the white fabric so you can see there that we've got that beautiful floral print i do love white um, in a quilt i like a bold color to make the quilt pop let's just give that a quick press there i folded it up and managed to crease it and it's definitely worth <laughs> making sure there's no creases in your fabrics which just really to show you so if you're starting out the thing that i tend to find people ask is that they're concerned about cutting they might okay. not be confident with cutting yeah so it's to show you just how simple this pattern is and it's, it's nice to show this actually because quite often we never get to show never that get part to see on them. air and it is something that i think is beginning you do get yeah well, i've been using to get the right sizes yeah incredibly important especially with this and actually by layering the two fabrics on top of each other you know that your, your block that you're going to create is accurate so they're cut into eight and a half inch strips already and then i'm black um aligning the top raw edge making sure that they're marrying up top and bottom and again that is absolutely crucial that's the difference really when you know making your quilts that that accuracy is has to be there for okay. you to do that so we're literally sitting that onto the cutting mat, finding our eight and a half inch line, just checking top and bottom. And there's a couple of ways to do that on your mat. So lining up your ruler onto your mat and just cutting, always cutting away from you. And you can see there, we'll just do two together. So we'll cut two blocks together. And if you place your fabrics out onto your blocks, you're simply cutting every eight and a half inches to create those blocks. And you can see just how fast we won't do all of them because I want to show yeah. you how to get that pinwheel quilt, but just how fast this goes together. And again, just following um, what I showed you when we were doing the Alana bag, just sliding your pins through your fabric. And what we're actually going to do on here is sew all four raw edges, leaving no turning gap. Again, I'm just leaving those pins far enough back, so I'm not going to come into contact with them. Again, making sure all those raw edges are lining up and what I tend to do when I'm doing a quilt especially something like this where you're repeating the block over and over again is prepare them all so you actually need 25 white 25 floral or 25 from each of your fabrics we're simply going to sew around each of the sides so I would do all of the cutting first of all so prepare all the fabrics to begin with and then enjoy doing the sewing mm -hmm. afterwards because I think we find much more pleasure in the sewing. Oh, absolutely. It's nice to do yourself a bit of a production line as well. I, I think do a like lot of working with a production good. line. Even though you say like it's a it's a simple block to do for anyone who's new, it's good to get your head into organising yourself a bit of a uh, yeah. organisation, yeah. getting used to doing that with quilting because a lot of the time it is about the preparation yeah. beforehand, trying to make it as easy as, as possible to sew. Just so you know, the floral kit is T A L. One nine two. If you do want to uh, check out on any of these, please make sure you're writing that item code number in the search bar on the website. We're also offering the pattern on its own. Very exciting. Once again, at an exclusive price. That's just £11.99. That is your Living in Loveliness pin wheel quilt. It's got all your template, it's got all of your pattern, it's got everything that you need. If you've got your own fabric, uh, it's a good one to go sort of into your stash. It really showcases fabrics beautifully. Oh, yeah. I think the pinwheel's timeless as well. I absolutely love the pinwheel. It's nice as a, 
as as a block just maybe if you're doing a block a month but I do think it's timeless. Oh, it is. And I think if you, especially, you know, if you're making a quilt for an occasion and you just want a quick quilt, it's not very often that you say those two words together. Quick quilts don't normally happen. <laughs> no. Whereas actually, this is something that isn't going to take, you know, it's not going to be that big project that you spent, you know, all year doing. How much fabric do I need for it? You need um, a metre and a quarter, 1.1 um, metre of each fabric for your top. For the back of your fabric and for your binding, you need a metre and a half. Fab. So, Thank you. Nice and easy. Okay, so just I needed to change it back. I've got sidetracked there doing the free motion. And I'm simply going to sew a quarter inch all the way around all four sides. I'm starting in the middle because I just find it much easier. You haven't got to worry about getting it accurate on the corner. So always start in the middle of your project when you're sewing. When you get to your corner, just pivot that fabric. Just reduce the stitch. My stitch was quite lengthy there, and we don't want um, we don't want it too long on the stitch. Oh, that was from when you were doing your top stitch, yeah. Your um, quilting. So just sewing around all four sides, and actually this is a really nice nice technique to do. Perfect, as we say, if you're just starting out and you want something nice and easy, and also you, you're repeating the same for all of your blocks as well. Nice one to practice your quarter of an inch seam. Yeah, there. absolutely. And also getting that point in the centre as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you, yeah, I think it's quite um, having two contrasting fabrics is worth spending that bit of time yes. to try and match your points. Yes, absolutely. So we've just sewn around all four sides here. And what we're going to do next is to just place our ruler onto the panel and we're lining that up with the two furthest points at a diagonal and just cutting across each of those. I even had the rotating cutting mat at the side of me and I still <laughs> forgot to put it in front of me. So we're just cutting across on both of there and straight away that creates Ooh. our centre. So it's a really fast way of creating those centres. They're saying you're magic. In magic. Way, yeah. It's definitely magic. And we want to press the seam to the darkest side of the fabric, which on this quilt is our blue. So if we place the panel down onto the white, naturally as we push against that seam, we're pushing the seam to the darkest side ah. and exposing, making sure we're getting a nice crisp edge. So what I'd recommend doing then is to just put all of your panels onto, the, um, onto your ironing board so you've got the patterns facing up towards you. Yeah, that's a good tip actually. Sometimes it can get confusing, like, oh, which side am I yeah. pressing towards? Pressing to the side, the side that you want it to be pressed towards, have that on the top. There's lots of that to remember as well, where in this quilt, it's, it's nice and easy, really. Nice, easy quilt. So we know that those seams, and naturally by following this as well, our seams will lock together in a moment. It does make a difference, doesn't it, pressing at each yeah, point, doesn't absolutely. it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sorry. Yeah, absolutely. That's broken me up. <laughs> <laughs> And the next thing is to just square off these blocks as well. So, you know, it would be really easy to just trim those corners, but you'll definitely get a better finish on your project if you're using your ruler. Let me get it the right way. And you're just trimming those blocks. So a line in there, that centre, 45 degree angle on your seam, which is really easy to see on this pattern here. And this should end up five and a half inches. So we're just simply going to cut around each so side. it's literally just a slither off it and you're just dominated. a slither and you know most of the time it's okay but sometimes with some fabrics there is a little movement in there okay. you'll achieve that beautiful point if you just take an extra moment to do this cutting so again just making sure your seam is on that 45 degree angle that those raw edges are sitting there on that five and a half and you can see on this side there is just that little slither to mm -hmm. remove there so we're going to repeat that on all four squares. It takes a few extra moments, but it definitely makes your sewing journey much more enjoyable when you're pinning that, um, those centre seams together. Definitely would have been better getting that rotating cutting mat, wouldn't I? <laughs> there we go. And so I'm pushing that rotary cutter away from me. I'm just pivoting my body so I'm always pushing away from me there on the mat. And we're on the fourth one. 
This is the bit that I really enjoy, actually. It's squaring them all up, knowing that they're all straight. Oh, yeah, very satisfying. It is very satisfying, definitely. I'm just pivoting that around. I'm used to a much lower desk. This is lovely to have the height. Um, do, do, uh, do you actually like the... Yeah, yeah, I really because like having the I height. find sometimes, actually, it's hard when you're cutting to have a higher desk. Yeah. It's, it's, I find it harder. It's... It's... Different to get used to, but actually it's much easier. My desk, ah, my cutting table is posture, much lower. isn't it? Well, yes, definitely. Especially after lots of cutting this week, it's very good for my posture. So we've just squared all of those four panels up now. It is really quite nice when you're looking through the ruler and you can see all those beautiful fabrics. Oh, honestly, they're so gorgeous. That white and white is stunning. It's got such a beautiful floor print. That's surprising. You get it home. That's it. So we're just going to pop these back onto the ironing board now and place this out in the pinwheel pattern to create that lovely pinwheel. Oh, nice. Like a little windmill, yes, definitely. So what we're going to do now is I'm working from the top, bringing the fabrics over, and naturally as we bring this over, place this on the top raw edge, because of the way that we've pushed our seams, the corner, here will naturally oh, nest, nest together. Nice. Did we put the pins? So again, we're going to push the pins towards the seam that we're sewing. This is where, like you say, the arrows using your pins and arrows are actually really, yeah. really useful. Well, especially if you're going to do it like I would as a bit of a production line. What I'd probably do here is pin these blocks and then pop a pin through those and I know that that section's done. Right. And repeat that stage for each other. Because you didn't do it block by block. Do you always make up a block and see that you're happy with it and then start your production line? I think because I've been sewing for such a long time. You just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, all, I'm always, work, I work quite fast as well. So um, I think if you were just starting out, then definitely make one block at a time. You know, you'll find, um, you'll find a way that works for yourself. And again, because you'll be sewing so many panels, it's definitely worth chain stitching those together. It's got a couple more minutes. That's okay. A few more minutes. We can do that in a few more minutes. So the last thing to show you on here is as we turn this block over now, making sure we've still got the pinwheel, we're going to press the seams in opposite directions. So we're pressing one seam up and one seam down and then bringing those back over. Just make sure, and the thing that's really important here is that we're back in that pinwheel position, so just keep double checking that. And the next thing to do, you can see that you've got your quarter inch here which will allow for that centre seam. I'll just turn it this way to make it a little easier for me to pin. Because of the way that we've pressed our seams, when you'll naturally find that these nest together. And I always push two pins through the seam to stop that movement as well. Oh, so for even somebody who doesn't necessarily pin very often, that's quite an integral part to definitely yeah. work. Putting a pin so that you, you know it's going to match. Absolutely. Just trim that a little bit off. And again, just using that quarter inch, we're simply going to sew across. I've left my pins far enough back so I don't need to worry about those. And then we're simply going to remove that pin. And as we trim away all the excess threads, Open out that block. Oh, nice. Press Look at against that the seam. Point. So let's just press the seam and we will have a good little nosy. And you can see the back because of the direction that we've pressed our seam. Gosh, I thought now. it was going to be quite bulky at the back, but actually, because of how you've pressed it, the centre where all of those seams meet, it's, it's fine. Because of the way you press them, and naturally, as you, as you follow those stages, you'll get a nice finish on there, which helps, of course, when you're doing your quilting. We're inspecting that perfect point in the <laughs> centre there. Oh, my word. But if you follow those steps, you're always going to get that Absolutely. point. Absolutely. And if you're using this, if you're doing this as one of your first quilts, then you're going to repeat this a lot of times. So this will really help with your confidence as well because you're repeating that stage. So absolutely, if you want to check one and just check that you're happy with those stages or do it as a little bit of a production line. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. Two you're projects. Welcome.
done. Brilliant. We're going to have a quick roundup of the kits, but we'll see you in an hour. See you in an we? hour. Brilliant. Thank you, Kerry. This is how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, don't we all just love Kerry? And, and such beautiful kits, I must say as well, as, as always, has not disappointed everybody loving the kits. Starting with the Michael Miller, um, all right, there's less than five, we'll do this quickly. Uh, if you do want it, the item code number is WYL186, WYL186. Instructions, felt, webbing, fabrics, wadding, everything that you need. All you need is a sewing machine and some thread. That's all that you need. And maybe if you want to do the free motion, don't get me wrong, you don't need to do the free motion on it. It's completely up to you. You could applique those on, couldn't you? And stitch round. It's absolutely up to you what you want to do. It's your bag. Less than 25 pounds though, to say you're getting how how much in there? Love it, it's everything you need. The other one, the other option was the Riley Blake option. And there are only six of these. Only six of these. We've got the felt, the webbing, all of your fabrics, the Riley Blake fabric. Search your code BGL157. BGL157. And that's the one that we were working with on the show. It's got beautiful instructions. Very, very clear, very thorough. All your templates, everything you need, including your wadding. It's a fully lined bag, less than £25. I tell you what, they're fantastic value for money, aren't they? We we're also offering the pattern on its own today for the first time ever. We've never been able to offer you any of Kerry's patterns on their own. And not only that, we're offering them to you at an exclusive price. So even on Kerry's website, you can't get it at 9.99. The code is TOL153, TOL153. That is your beautiful pattern all of your instructions, your pattern pieces. If you've got fabric at home already that you want to use, get the pattern on its own. We also were looking at the pinwheel quilt. We've got two colorways of Christmas. Oh, it's very popular. I think we're all excited for Christmas, aren't we? There's only 11 Christmas kits left. So you've got your binding, your instructions, and you've got your beautiful, beautiful metallic fabrics. <gasps> so traditional, I love those colorways. I must say the quality of this is gorgeous. I mean, I really, really wish once again you could touch that. It's just so gorgeous. When you get it home, <laughs> when you get it home, when I'll start in that again, when you get it home, you will absolutely adore it. Honestly, you're not going to be disappointed. You've also got all of your binding. If you missed out on the, um, the, the wadding by the half meter yesterday, check out the website. It will be underneath us on the web. There's literally, well, a lot of the stock sold yesterday. So you've still got to look in at the moment. Pinwheel floral that we saw demoed was this one with the lovely blues. Look at that colour. And you've got your pre-cut strips ready to go for your binding, all your instructions, your gorgeous floral, and your white on white. So it isn't just white, it's got a floral print, which is beautiful. All of that included for $44.99, and that's to make a finished 50-inch square kit. So much there. Pattern on its own. Now we're going to bring the pattern back in the next hour because we're going to be launching some brand new fabrics which we think would be perfect for the pinwheel quilt. So the pattern on its own is exclusively at $11.99 for us. So normally if you have a look at this elsewhere it will be at a higher price. We've got it at $11.99 but I'm thinking in the next hour we're launching some beautiful brand new fabrics which I think would look 
perfect with your pinwheel quilt, don't you think? They would look gorgeous as well. So stay tuned, coming up in just a few minutes. Don't forget, da, 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 da. it is back. We'll start with it. We've seen Kerry using it and a lot of people are asking about it. So we're gonna start the show with it. We haven't been able to get, haven't been able to check out on it. You haven't been able to check out on it until we bring the graphics live. So you've got to wait. We're going to be able to do this after the break. Do not go anywhere. Plus new fabrics after this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. To see me back. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in the school. I came to fame was the sewing quarter. But I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring your question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Christmas is going to be here before we know it and as with every year we want to make sure that we get our makes ready in time for gifting on the big day or for decorations in the lead up. We're here to help with our Christmas make shows starting with our three day event on Friday the 31st of July until Sunday the 2nd of August and we'll be live for five hours each day too. Expect lots of festival quilting, FPP, dressmaking and needle felting to make all your decorations, advent calendars, cushion covers and so much more. We'll have our expert tutorials from some of our favourite guest designers and a fabulous competition exclusively for our Sewing Street family. Keep your eyes peeled on our email newsletter, Facebook and Instagram for more details in the run up. And don't forget to tune in from 8am to 1pm on Friday the 31st of July until Sunday the 2nd of August on Freeview Channel 74, Sky 670 or on our YouTube channel. Welcome back, welcome back. We've got so much to do this hour, haven't we actually? Because, um, right. For a long time, I've been. To, I've talked to you about this iron, and I absolutely love it. And it sounds crazy talking about an iron, but we've just spoke to Kerry about how important pressing is. 
And actually, across the board, uh, no matter what, whether you're a bag maker or a quilter, whether you are a dressmaker, whether you are a toy maker, pressing is really important in sewing. It makes such a difference on the end result. So having the right tools to help you achieve those results, I think is integral. Now, when you're looking at, you know, using your home big domestic iron, Great, and you've seen it a lot over the last few weeks, but because we haven't had any of these in stock, now if there's ever the prim mini iron in stock, you will see our guest designers choose to use it. We don't say to them to use it, they choose to use it because it's so much easier to get into seams, to be able to, uh, bearing in mind the prim mini iron is fantastic because it has the strength of a big iron, but on a smaller scale. So, we haven't bought the graphics in for a reason. We wanted to make it fair for everybody. Um, when we when we're prepping for the show, we get a schedule list from uh, the management and the team who have been who have been checking things into the system. And every now and then, there's a few notes. Maybe sometimes it will say new, or maybe it'll say back in stock. You could not miss it when a couple of days ago we got our schedule for today through and it says back in stock finally and it's all highlighted. Everybody knows about this. There was a meeting when we decided that this was coming on air today and they said if we're doing Kerry's bits and bobs in the first hour I think we need to hold off even putting it on the website. Normally everything is listed on the web shop even before we go on air. This one you've had to wait until now. It's not fair if we put it all earlier. The only way that we could do that is if it's searched by cold, so nobody else has been able to check out on it this morning. So when the graphics become live, we want to make it fair for everybody as we have had so many messages about getting this iron in. We have no other iron available in stock. The iron that we've been using is Haley's one from home. So this is the only one that we have for sale and it's so exciting. I love this iron. I own this iron and it's brilliant. We have 100 of these irons. Kat, are you ready? Considering a hundred wasn't considered enough by the management, enough so that, they, you know, they've said, hold it off. Remember to get your pen and paper ready or your mobile to write the code down because you need to search the code. It was the only way that we could do it fairly. So, are you ready? We're gonna bring the graphics live. If you do want the Prim Mini Iron back in stock, finally, the graphics are now live. If you want it, go for it. The item code number is EJS, EJS827, EJS827. That is your item code number. Right, so for anybody who's never seen this before, you're thinking, what on earth are you want about? It's an iron. How could this be so exciting? Oh, oh, just you wait. So, you've seen Kerry talking about it. Number one, it's uh, from Prim. So when we're talking about different tools from Prim, uh, you know that you've got great, great quality. It's got like a, a rubber grip around the outside. So it's really sort of ergonomic. It's a nice way of holding it, and it's also really nice and soft. You also have steam on steam off button so you can click that in and out depending on whether you're you know dressmaker and you prefer steam or if you're sally ann and you like dry heat you do have an option of switching it off it comes with a little water bottle inside here in a little carry case uh, and so you can fill it up nice and easily via this little section here it will tell you how much you've got in it will tell you when it's ready and hot with the red light is it a gimmick because it's small no. Um, I've told this story many times. My absolute, is it called Room 101, that program? My Room 101 thing is when I go to a hotel and they've got a little kettle and a little iron that has a cord that is like this size and it just doesn't get any of your creases out. The great thing about having, uh, by the way, well done on checking out because there's so many of you that have checked out. We knew it was going to be popular. But the great thing about it is that it has the strength of your domestic iron, but in a more sort of a smaller, smaller um, size. So Kerry was saying she loves to use it because if you've not got a big dedicated, a dedicated sewing space, or even if you do have a big dedicated sewing space, but you're just just pressing seams, you don't want to get your big ironing board out and your and your large, you know, domestic iron. But you still want to make sure that you have that result. Now I'm just going to steal one of these fabrics because we love these. But the first thing when you get it home. Oh, I really, really hope that everybody who's been asking for this back, I know Hannah's saying, I hope everyone who is watching, because I've got a feeling all 100 could go today. 
I think we've been waiting months and months for this and I don't know how long it's going to take to get it back. So if you were one of those people that have messaged in, absolutely make the most of it today. So you know when you get your fabrics home for the first time, you do want to make sure that you give it a really, really good press before you start cutting. Uh, this was one thing that Kerry was saying. Also, another good point about this, it's got little feet. Like our pool, it's got little feet to stand up. So a lot of travel, and I say travel very loosely, a lot of travel irons don't have little feet to stand on like that. So when you are doing your bits of sewing, you can set yourself up your little station and you're sewing and you're pressing, but um, it, it does have those little feet, which are brilliant. So straight away, you can see it's going to, I'm gonna also try it with some steam so I can show you. It's going to just eliminate any of those stubborn creases maybe that you have in fat quarters. It gives you beautiful, oh look at that fabric as well. It's going to give you really beautiful, beautiful pressed seams. It's going to be great for bag makers, for toy makers, for dress makers. Uh, and you're going to be able to get into that little, uh, you know, when you're opening seams. If you're using a larger iron, I find that really, really difficult to get into. Whereas with your, uh, with your mini iron, I find that a lot easier. Also, another thing that I wanted to just mention about it. It is on, so I'll be ever so careful. But it's got a really nice long cord. I'm going to unplug it so you can see the length of it. As I say, my room 101 is having uh, a short little cord, whereas this, look, it is the length of like your domestic iron and also the width of it. It's not a flimsy little iron, it really is fantastic. You can wind your cord around and it's got a clip on there as well, so you can clip it all in. Sorry, my belt's coming undone. Uh, my, I've got my microphone pack on the back of it and I can think, oh no, it's all going to fall off in a second. I've got a message coming from Sue. She says, thank you so, so much for getting this iron back in stock. Um, it's always been one that we've loved, but yeah, thank you for your messages. Also, it does have a temperature gauge, which I know a lot of the smaller irons don't give you that option. Uh, it's almost just sort of on or off, whereas this, it still has all those features and functions, so you can alter your temperature, you can turn your steam on or off. Hello, Mary. Mary's really pleased this is back in stock as well. I must say, she says, I've been waiting to get mine. I've done my workroom up dur during lockdown. Been waiting to be able to have that so she can start using the household iron. I always find if I have my ironing board out with the iron out, then yeah, Kieran will bring me things to iron. I'm thinking I'm not ironing. There's a big difference, isn't there, between pressing and ironing. So many people understand that. So yes, it's brilliant to be able to have that nice little iron. Also, when we're starting to go to workshops and retreats again, um, I'm all for taking my own bits and bobs with me. I don't like, you know, waiting for the communal line, especially as the world is at the moment. It's nice to be able to take everything that's yours with you. But being able to take this around as your travel line, it comes with a nice little drawstring bag, a little blue drawstring bag. I take this on my holidays with me because, as I say, I hate Ugh, hotel room irons, they just do not work very well, I find. Um, so I do like to take this. I know Hayley's taken this uh, a couple of years ago. She took this to uh, her Portugal holiday. Iron in your clothes. Debbie Shaw, uh, she's been known to come in with her household ironing and sit ironing <laughs> after the show with a uh, prim mini iron. So it's great for that as well. But if you are doing small seams, if you imagine, I haven't got the larger one here to show you the difference, but you can imagine the sort of point on the, the large iron is like this. It goes, it is wider. Whereas this, because it's narrower, you can really get into those seams without getting your hands near the iron. The handle on this, is beautiful. I mentioned this at the start, but it's got this rubber grip around the outside. And because of the way it is, I suppose it's a bit more ergon or ergonomic. If you have got any dexterity issues, I find that it may help you, especially with your bag making. If you've got to get into smaller gaps, I think this is going to be really, really useful. It is back in stock today. If you've been looking for this on the website all morning, we've literally just bought it live. It's E. EJS827, EJS827, and Kat, I know that we tried to do this earlier on, but are we able to show how it is that you type that code in? Because I would hope for anybody who's been messaging in to have missed that. Um, yeah, Hannah will be able to tell us just in case. If you go to www.sewingstreet.com, if you've never shopped with us before, 
Oh, don't be worried, honestly. Uh, have a go. It's really, really lovely and simple to do. And also, we've got a, a UK-based customer service team. They're literally down the road here in Redditch. So if you do want to uh, speak to them, they're really, really helpful and help you set up an account. Uh, so if you go through to www w.sewingstreet.com uh, it will redirect you to Jewelry Maker and at the top there it will say search product name or code this is where you need to type in E for Echo J for Juliet S for Sugar or Sierra 8 2 7 then click the little um, magnifying glass or click enter there it is you can still add to your basket. It is in stock at the moment. Hannah was saying it's the only way. Of, it was the only fair way of doing it. I discussed with the management and said, "Right, I know how much demand this is in, and I didn't want to bring it straight in." You proved us right. Very, very popular indeed. I can't wait for you to get yours home. They're lovely. I hope you managed to get yours. Um, thank you for your messages as well, saying. You're really grateful. Um, do you know what? We always will listen to you. So, of course, if you want something in, we will absolutely endeavour to, to bring it to you and let you know as soon as it's in stock. So, we've got brand new fabrics. Brand new fabrics. I absolutely love these. Those of you that managed to get the pinwheel quilt, we're going to talk about that in a minute, actually, because I think it's going to be ideal with this. But also, if you are thinking of quilting, the wadding that came back into stock yesterday after over a thousand units selling. It's been so manic the last few days, hasn't it? Something, honestly, it's just been brilliant. We've had so much going on. Um, but this is the first time that we've been able to do this by the half meter over the last, uh, well, I say that, the last few days. Uh, we've brought it back into stock the last couple of days and once again we're down to less than 100 units of this six pounds 99 and a half meter and can you see what half meter is i will pin it to the side so you i can hold it out and show you it is 244 centimeters it's a visaline product which is absolutely quality Cat's coming out to zoom out because it's so wide. That is all for $6.99. If you do cushion fronts, if you quilt bags, if you want to do quilting, a metre for less than £15 is going to be more than enough for two baby quilt, maybe, two lap quilts. So the pinwheel quilt are absolutely ideal. £6.99. I love that and it's so, so soft. It's 80% cotton and 20% polyester. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. So it's so, so super soft. Now they recommend maximum stitch width to be 20 centimetres, was it? 20 centimetres apart, I think. Yeah, 20 centimetres apart. Um, so if you are starting out quilting, you don't need to worry about, you know, doing too much close quilting, lots and lots of quilting. You can get away with quite minimal quilting with it as well. So ever, it's ever so soft. So if you loved the tote bag, um, then, a, you know, a quilted tote bag, these are ideal for that, or cushions. It's so beautiful. Uh, if you um, want to have a look on their website, it is a Visaline product, so you can have a look on their website for any washing instructions. They do suggest that you pre-wash it. We also have it in our description, actually. We have it in our description. Now, is this underneath us on the website? You can find this just straight away underneath us, but the item code, if you are getting used to searching the item code, you can see it's there at the top. Six pound nine ten, it's underneath us. Okay, <laughs> we've also got some beautiful fabrics to launch. Absolutely beautiful. Do not forget about that because um, we could be waiting a long time again to be able to get it back in. I know that, like the iron, we've been waiting to be able to do the, uh, the, the wadding by the half meter. It's gonna be cut off the bolt for you. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You do it in whatever order you want. You're kidding. Right, we're ha gonna have to do it in a particular order that Hannah's gonna call out to me because some of these have already sold out. Sold out? Oh no, right, let's go for it. They're brand new today. They're literally brand new today. We've shown you a couple. It's not even those that have sold out. So, this one, it's completely sold out. Look, this one, well done if you got it, that's what you're getting. <laughs> it's sold out. 
I'm taking it these did go on the website before the show then. Everyone's been checking out all morning. Oh, that is gorgeous. Let's go for the blue. We've got two blues here. We want the lighter blue. This was the one that I did show you this morning. There's literally a metre of this left. Look at that ombre of colour. If you're thinking of doing tumbling blocks, you've got three shades of colours on there, haven't you? And by the half metre, that looks like the sky, doesn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? I tell you what, you know the fraction quilt that we saw the repeat at 12 o'clock yesterday? That's almost what it reminds me of. Okay, Hannah's like, move on. <gasps> Chef's a bossy. It's going to be gone. Let's do the other blue. We've literally got five metres of the darker blue left. I haven't even shown this on air and we're literally saying there's uh, five metres, I believe, left. Remember, it is um, sold by the half metre. We can cut it to whatever size you want. Well, I say that, it's limited, very limited now. It's seven ninety nine. This is your snippets. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that colour. Like that. You want to do like a Mexican wave? What are you trying to make me do, Kat? You're trying to make me look silly, aren't you? She's like, can you just do um, a little shimmy, please? Oh, do you mean like this? That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, gosh. I had so much planned to talk about with this, by the way. You've kind of ruined our hour, by the way. What are we going to do for the rest of it? <gasps> You've bought everything already. Uh, let's go for this one. Oh, gorgeous. This is like a sunset. Six metres left. Six metres left. Oh, I love that. Can I show you? So it isn't, is it metallic -y? It is slightly, met very, very slightly metallic -y. It's so beautiful. Only very just slightly. I don't know whether you can see that little shimmer. It's beautiful. And then look. At that colour, that sunshine colour, it's gorgeous. It's quilting weight, by the way. It is quilting weight. Um, I know so many people will love it. Do you know what it reminds me of? I just realised what it was reminding me of. Do you remember when we had that very arty dressmaker fabric that had all the different colours at the bottom like this? What was it called? Anna, somebody, I think. You do remember what I mean, don't you? I love that fabric so much, and it is expensive. This is beautiful. Reminds you of a Riley Blake range that they produced. It's beautiful. Oh look, nice salvage as well. So yeah, you can see it does have that um, that metallic right on the end there. So it does have metallic in it. Uh, it's like a bit like a, yeah, it's like a, a honeycomb, isn't it? It's like a crunchy. It's lovely. <gasps> Hannah started back at the gym yesterday and all she can now see everything that she looks at look, reminds her of some sort of chocolate bar. It's not bad. You burnt it off at the gym yesterday, you can have a chocolate bar to reward yourself. Okay, what else are we low on stock? But by the way, the pink is beautiful. I, I have been looking at this. I've been eyeing this one up myself. It's so gorgeous. Imagine doing like um, getting... a a good few meters of this and doing like a, a children's teepee design. Do you know what I mean? That is so beautiful. I keep seeing them on um, Pinterest. There's one. Of, oh, look at that. And you can see the metallic. Big makeup bag or travel bag. It's so beautiful. If you're dressmaking with this, because you absolutely could, you could make a really smart pair of, I'm thinking of like, fancy uh, pyjamas or a kimono because look you could have that I mean you would have to buy more of it obviously if you want this running along the bottom you'd have to think about your placement but a kimono for example that running along would look stunning wouldn't it <gasps> or a really lovely structured skirt I like having the, the fact that you're, you're working with lots of different sorts of scales. So if you love English paper piecing, if you imagine you're cutting, fussy cutting smaller sections, it's going to look like so many different fabrics that are all complementing each other. Or if you're doing like a rainbow ombre effect of EPP or a, a rainbow ombre effect of your pinwheel design. Free motion, you're thinking. If you're inspired by some Japanese fabric. 
these are like cherry blossom colours, aren't they? You can mix these in with some of your oriental inspired fabrics. There's still loads of fabric that this is going to be able to be, if, dare I say it, you use this as more of a mixer fabric, it's going to go with so much, isn't it? Like a cherry blossom, beautiful fabric. It would look gorgeous. How about like fussy cutting? You could do some applique. I say fussy cutting, you could sort of like cut out your own templates of flowers and stars and create something amazing on a white background, just on quite a stark white background and taking all of these and almost making like a, I just look so pretty, like a unicorn design. You know, like the applique cushions that Delphine, Delphine, Delphine had. You could do like a unicorn with these, couldn't you? Be lovely. So I'm thinking, you know the pinwheel design? I'm going to put this here and I'm also going to mix it with the grey. I'm going to go grey. The silver, it's called silver because it's got like this silver metallic. I'm going to put them next to each other like this. How about, you can get the pattern on its own now by the way. Um, if you get a metre and a half, you would need 1.1 metres of each colour. So you'll have some left over. I suppose you could make it to whatever size you want. You could leave one row off or a couple of rows off, or you could make it even bigger, add a few more rows, because you'll have plenty of fabric. Um, so to make uh, this, we sell by the half metre. So you'll definitely need, well, you'll need three units of each. So, I mean, this would be amazing in the pinwheel. You could even like ombre it, couldn't you? It would look beautiful. Having those two contrast colours, well, it would naturally ombre across without you having to worry about that placement. If you were to cut it up and then place them, the two colours, as you can imagine, like you're seeing here with your pinwheel, but then as the colour gra um, the gra graduates or gradients along, it would look beautiful in the pinwheel design. Pinwheel design, by the way, the pinwheel quilt is a brilliant price. You will need to search the code for this. It's KRL129. KRL129. It's just £11.99, which is the lowest Price point, even lower than Kerry's website. Very good price. Uh, and it's a beautiful design. Whether you're getting the kit or if you miss out on the kits, I do absolutely love these. If you're watching on a replay, it's definitely worth having a think about some of these contrasting colours. You'll need a metre and a half of each of your pinwheel colours, so each of your contrast colours. This one's beautiful. So let's see the silver on its own. As the black sold out very, very quickly before it even came to air. So if you do want this real contemporary look, you can't quite see on air, but, oops, let me just fold this one up one second. If you see um, closely, you'll see that it's got metallic fleck to it, which is only very slightly, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Pearlescent silver. This would be really cool to use. You know the, the gemstone block book, the gemology book that John Con Morgan uses? I think this would be so lovely to use with, with your gemology because it almost has, reminds me, that's why I think it reminds me of the fraction quilt that we had yesterday, having those sort of sunbursts of like facets and oh, it's just so cool. That is beautiful. And again, I think this would be great for, for unisex projects if you're doing things like, uh, uh, weekend bags or satchels if you want to do laptop cases. Just £7.99. £7.99 a half metre. Uh, lots of people taking advantage of the multi-bid option as well. Lots of people taking advantage of multi-buy. The what, sorry, purple? The purple and... um. Purple and greens look lovely together. Purple and pinks. This is Hannah's favourite. Don't let that put you off. Oh, look at it. Oh, this one would be great for the gemstone one. It's like amethyst colours, isn't it? Uh, so Hannah's thinking just a massive bolster cushion, a really long bolster cushion at the end of the bed. Oh, she's saying, oh. Maybe you could embellish with some sequins, couldn't you, or some beads. Have a look on the Jewelry Maker website. Seven pounds ninety nine and a half metre. Your pearl essence. Can you see that pearl essence? And can you see that perfect seamless ombre? Oh, that's gorgeous. The quality of these are gorgeous. Tell you what, for seven ninety nine, it is beautiful quality fabric. You can see that actually. To be able to get all of those different tones and all of those different colours, you've got to have great quality fabric. 
Seven pounds ninety-nine. Brand new today, brand new today. Lots of them checking out on the website. There's lots of colours that are now becoming very, very limited. Some even sold out already. We're less than eight pound a half metre. That is absolutely gorgeous. Black, gone, blue's gone. Navy's about to go, yellow's about to go. They're all in baskets for those, but we're just waiting on everybody checking out. I think a lot of people are gonna say, right, I wanna just see them all, make my mind up. But if you have got it in your basket, just remember it's not yours until you check out. Let's do this lime green. This one is, cause there's two different greens. Have you got the right one? What do you need me to tell you? This one's green, the other one's called emerald. What I love about this is look, you've got like a yellow in the center. <gasps> I want a kimono in this. For EPP, half a meter, you're gonna get so many hexes and you've got loads of colors that are all gonna work seamlessly in together. This reminds me of my favorite drink, a lemon lime. You know, like a real good lime green. Oh, uh, similar to Kat's favorite drink, lemon and lime with gin. <laughs> I just love lime. I don't you love lime in like a Diet Coke or a lime in a um yeah. That's so tropical, isn't it? And especially look, if I just give it a little shimmy shim, look at that. It's got that beautiful pearl essence. Seven pounds ninety-nine. Yeah, it's almost got a bit of a um yeah, an animal print vibe. That's so cool. But I must say, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous um, yellow in the center as well. It goes perfectly with your lime. That is gorgeous. I'd like to see what you're thinking of making with this. You can get really adventurous. How about doing toy making? What about doing, um, you know, like you wanted to do your big crocodile? We have got those extra wide fabrics, by the way. And I'm guessing Hannah will tell you about her idea of doing a huge crocodile. It's a great idea. This is so lovely. We've also got the emerald. Oh, I'm excited to see this, you know. It's like turquoise. Oh, yeah, you could actually free motion and embellish and do that as like a grass and sunshine and do a bit of um, a picture and use that as your background almost, couldn't you? That's a good idea. That's a so if you had that as a background like this, and you then applique, sort of like your sun on here. and Yeah, it looks like a field, it's so beautiful. What about sunflowers? So beautiful. We've also got your emerald. This is beautiful. Ooh. Right, this is my favorite. This is my favorite, this turquoise blue. Let me hold it up there so you can see. That is under the sea mermaid. Right, if you wanna use that, and look at that pearlescence. That pearlescence is beautiful. What was that? Why am I in trouble? Oh no, I think one of these has come off the, which one does this end in? Zero six. So I'm guessing the last one is 31. I'm hoping. I've taken the stickers off and put them in the wrong place, probably. You won't have the sticker issues at home, don't you worry. Just the warehouse will be hating on me right now. Oh, look at that! When the light just hits that beautiful pearl essence. This reminds me of the days that I discovered Brazil. I know that everyone's like, what? I know, I don't think I've got enough credit for it, to be honest. I went to Brazil about seven years ago and saw all these beautiful, it does remind me of those emeralds. I went to uh, visit an emerald mine and um, there was a, a video that went out called Vicky Gordon discovers Brazil. So all the time now Hannah's like, does this remind you of the time you discovered Brazil? No one knows Miss Vicky Gordon here, it's my maiden name. Look at that. Oh, it's completely deleted off YouTube now. Can't find my video of me discovering Brazil. Brazil. Seven pounds, 99, look at that. Can you 
Can you see why that's my favourite? I think that is beautiful. This one, you know you were saying about doing your, like it already looks like sun and fields and everything. This is like under the sea. This is under the sea, the seabed, what lies on the seabed. This will go so beautifully with so many Tula pink fabrics, actually. Really gorgeous, vibrant colours. Could just use this as your sort of background. I mean, that's only half of it. Variegated threads. Oh, top stitching threads. Would look beautiful. What about using like one of these variegated threads? That one would look amazing with this coming up in a minute by the way we've got one other to show you and it's a gorgeous orange and i'm hoping it's ktyv31 no it's not They're saying, all you wanted to do was play your board game this morning. So you just put stickers anywhere. Sorry, if the office is watching, they didn't allow me. I tried to even just tell them the premise of the board game and they didn't want to hear it. They left the room. Oh, wow, look at this. Sunset. Oh, Hannah, you can finally do your sunset um, scene. £7.99. Oh, gorgeous. If you need to do, oh, I love that. It's almost like the sparks come off of a campfire. That would be beautiful. That would That is just like a perfect ombre sunset. Look at the quality of the printing, actually. It is completely seamless. The quality is beautiful. It is, um, it is absolutely perfect. All of them extremely limited now, by the way, and um, brand new today. And that again looks, yeah, it looks like animal print. Look at the difference in colour though, if I do that, you can see you three different colours. If you wanted to do tumbling blocks, then you've got your light, your mediums and your darks. So you've got three colours in one there really, haven't you? Look, that looks like a bundle of fabric. That's one half metre and you've got so much so many different colours and shades to play around with there. Just £7.99 a half metre. Thank you. Oh, it's so lovely. Right. Keep an eye on the stock, by the way. Keep an eye on the stock. That's a message for Hannah. Because the lots of them are very, very limited. I do love, you can see from there, can't you, that lovely pearlescent. All beautiful, all absolutely beautiful. Right, talking of stock, the mini iron was back in stock today. Uh, if you haven't yet checked out on it, if you've got it in your basket, please remember the item code you all need to search is EJS827. I'd hate for anyone to miss out. We did get 100 of these back in stock and loads have already sold out. So many people have been waiting to get this uh, for us to get this in. It is a brilliant quality mini iron. It comes with a little jug to fill up your water. It's got steam in, a steam on, steam off. It also comes with a little drawstring bag, an extra long cable. Really, really beautiful um, quality iron. This is by no stretch of the imagination a travel iron. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can travel with it because it's tiny, but also. Do you know, travel irons I always think are just a bit rubbish. They never actually iron my clothes, I find, when I go to hotels or buy little travel irons. This is the first time that I found a smaller iron that is powerful with steam. And how important is pressing? I've asked this to Sally Ann. I've talked about this with Kerry. Literally over the last two days, we've talked both days about how important pressing is. It really, really is. So, um, yes, think about your pressing tools. This is going to make life so much easier for you. £39.99. Okay. Top stitching thread. We saw, uh, we, we did see Kerry doing a little bit of top stitching on the, uh, on the, the bag earlier on. Having variegated thread would be amazing. Different colourways have been available. This one is brand new. You're getting, now when you see a Gutemann thread that's got, it's on a yellow spool, it means it's 70 weight, which is a heavier, thicker weight, a thicker thread basically, which is going to be perfect for top, top stitching. Um, even the ones at the bottom, 
They're not variegated, but they are also 70 weight. 70 meters on each spool. It's a great value pack. Let's open it up. Let's have a look at these colors. Uh, variegated for anybody who's not seen them before. They like the fabric, sort of ombre between. They change color and rainbow. So if you are doing any different colors, if you're working with lots of different colors and you want it to sort of either stand out, you can have it as very decorative, but also blend between different colors quite nicely. This is gonna be ideal. Oh, let's open this up. So this one I absolutely love. I think is my favorite. That's beautiful, the blues, the sky, that beautiful sky blue, your deep navy blue. There's also a greys in there and white even, it must end in white. I wonder whether if I just open one out, let's do it, let's unravel one so you can see the colours. So, You've got, I'm gonna put that against there so you can see the different colors. It starts white, and then can you see as it goes to blue, then lighter blue, then lighter again, then darker blue, then black and grays. So it just very, very subtly, but it's gonna look amazing against your fabrics, ombreing across. Isn't that gorgeous? If you're doing maybe a decorative stitch as well, that's gonna look brilliant. They do have like a little notch at the bottom, by the way, to clip those onto. Um, there you go. Uh, this one is Paul, little Paul's favorite. Look, it's like rainbow colors. So there, look, you've got blue into yellow, into green, into red. You can't see it as clearly on camera, but wait until you get it home, you'll really see it beautifully with your stitching. And don't get me wrong, this is gonna last a long time because it's not gonna be necessarily what you're doing all of your piecing and all of your machine sewing with. Um, you use this for your, uh, your main decorative top stitching, just those decorative finishing touches. And if you do want to do solid colors, we've got black, gray, blue, like a bluey grey and a green. Oh, they're lovely. That's like a copen blue, um, isn't it, Kat? Ten spools, all of your 70 weight, 70 metres on each. So it's going to last the test of time. And when you are thinking about us, I, I was talking to um, uh, Wendy about it yesterday. She says, think about the threads you're using. You use a nice quality thread and you will see a real difference with your, with your finished makes. So they're gorgeous quality. Your Gutemann polyester threads. Fantastic. Oh, I've lost my belt. I knew that would happen. Sorry. No, it's fine. I'll just do it back up. I'm not, I'm not going to reveal anything. It's just to cinch my waist in. But because I've got my um, talk back on the outside of it, I didn't think about my outfit today. I thought that I thought about it because it's going to be really hot, isn't it? So I thought, I'm going to just wear something loose. And I didn't think about where to put my wires cap. Sorry. Right, you don't need to know that. Here we go. Brand new bundle. Brand new bundle from last week. This has only been on air once before. Um, if you missed it, I didn't see it. Did you, Cat uh, or Hannah? It was with the two of them. <laughs> brand new to me, it could be brand new to you too. They are so beautiful. Look at this bees. So when they launched it last week, so the Hexi fabric and the B fabric sold out individually. We've managed to bundle some more. So we've released some from the bundle so we can do some by half meter as well. In fact, we can do all of them by the half meter again in a minute. So um, if you do want it as a bundle, you get half a meter of your B fabric. We are able to offer it on its own again, uh, which yeah, last week it completely sold out. This was the Hexi one. Oh, that is lovely, isn't it? So we can also do this by the half meter, but they work so well together because you've got the same contrast, well, the color that's gonna match in with your hexes, complement in with your hexes. Uh, half a meter of this one, if you can't make up your mind of which ones you want, why not get half a meter of each? We've also got the two floral prints. Oh, these are lovely, aren't they? I know Kerry would have her eye on this one, wouldn't she? A dress made out of this one. Uh, your wildflower bundle for £23.49. A so half a metre of your navy blue. And then also half a metre of your uh, floral on white. 
navies, greens, ochres, pinks. Oh yeah, what about um, any of Kerry's kits? By the way, we've got some patterns coming up la later. The, the wall hanging would lovely in this and the storage caddy would look really beautiful as well. We're gonna do lots of the patterns separately on their own for the first time in the next down with Kerry. Stay tuned for those. Um, how are we doing for time, by the way? Oh, I don't know where this house gone. Right, let's do the B first because this one was extremely popular. If you do want the whole mega bundle, it's £23.49. We've had to release some from the bundle. Release the Bs. Uh, if you do want to make the most of uh, this by the half meter, I'm thinking for larger projects, even if, by the way, you're not quite sure yet of which projects you're gonna have a go at with Kerry, from Kerry's patterns, absolutely stock up on this whilst you can. That would be lovely in a dress as well. I love that color, it's like a sage green, isn't it? Like an olivey green. Five pound 99 and a half meter, that is lovely quality. It looks very expensive, doesn't it? And we love bees. Just £5.99. Oh, so beautiful. It is so beautiful. That green is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, look at the detail. We're literally releasing um, the bees, as many as we possibly can. But it sold out in the launch last week by the half metre. So do check out as soon as you can. They're so pretty. The colour doesn't do it justice. You can't see the lovely colour on there. It is... Look, there, there you go. That's the colour you're getting. It looks a bit greyer, doesn't it, overhead, but it's, um, the colour is not great on that camera. They're lovely. Come on in, cat. Come on in. She's cursing you, Hannah. Did you send a picture, by the way, to the Facebook fan page of your nails? No. Oh, she wants to show you them. No, but you need to um, put the camera in vision, don't you? She was trying to show them then and then realised that she was um, directing as well. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you could just show them now, couldn't you, like this? Ooh. We've got the hexes. Come on. Oh, she's so shy. You don't need to show your hair. We don't want to see your face. We just see your lovely nails. She's had her nails done all fancy. A hexes, your wild flower hexes. And look at all of the patterns within every single hexy. Five pounds and 99 and a half meter. This is another one that sold out by the half meter when it was launched. We've released the hexes. Released lots of hexy fabric from the bundles to be able to offer you this again by the half metre. So it's going to be cut off the bolt, especially for you. I like that you've got the beehive as well, the honeycomb. And those sort of, uh, I, I really do like the, the look. If you love English paper piecing, maybe you could make yourself wall hanging. I am still thinking of Kerry's patterns with these. Such beautiful colours. They'll look great with any of her patterns. £5.99 a half metre. If you missed out on these last time... They are really beautiful. Now's your chance to get it by the half meter. It is quilting weight cotton, but by the way, I mean, it doesn't stop you from using it for dressmaking, bag making, soft furnishings, all sorts of really lovely. Uh, we have also got the floral prints. We haven't had a chance to do the extra wide. Can we do that in the last hour? We haven't had a chance to do the extra wide fabrics. Um, we might have to do those in the last hour. We've been busy, busy, busy today, haven't we? Busy bees. Your ochres, your blues, your pinks. You could pull up on any of these. I'm thinking, do you know what? Have you got any of these fabrics? The ombre colour will mix in beautifully. Ooh. What about your blues? That one's sold out now. The dark blue's available, I think. That'd look lovely with it as well. Oh, I can hear Liam in there. He's very loud. Five pounds, 19 and a half meter for your wide flower floral. And then the deep navy blue with your flowers, which is the one that I think Kerry would love. Those two together for one of the caddies or wall hangings. Something would look gorgeous. We're going to do Kerry's patterns 
on their own. By the way, for the first time ever, we're offering Kerry's patterns on their own. Oh my word, that was just reminded me. Yesterday, when we were clearing up, we're very singy in here the last few days. Hannah and I was decided to sing all of Les Miserables. One of the girls who works in and then got asked, is that Frozen 2? We're like, no, it's the French Revolution. We're more, we're happier than Frozen 2. We're singing Les Miserables. I was, um, yeah, I was very impressed that Hannah knew all the words to do hear the people sing. Five pounds, 99 and a half metre. You used to sing that as a solo. Oh, look, you've got the bees as well. I've just noticed the detail of the bees on this. Ah, uh, yeah, I've done that. The master of the house. When I was college, I played that, that part. Very well, might I add. They're singing master of the house in my ear now. Are you singing at home as well? Is everyone singing at home? Five pounds, 99 and a half metres. Did you hear Kat just calling? Terry will be. Her dad will be singing along. Right, so that is your floral. And your mega bundle available. If you do want just about available, if you do want all four half metre fabrics, it is available at a brilliant price. They're all gorgeous. They work so well together and it's £23.49. Sorry, I was just trying to show it so Kat didn't have to come out. There we go. That's fine. All four fabrics. £23.49. Oh, she's just come to readjust and didn't need to. They're lovely, aren't they? Okay, is there anything else that you want me to mention? Everything else, uh, we will take over to our 12 o'clock hour if we didn't get a chance. The mini iron, those of you that have been messaging in about us getting this back into stock, I really, really hope that you manage to get one. It's 39 99 back in stock, search the code EJS. 827. Over the next couple of minutes, just jot that down, have a look on our website, uh, our web shop, and type in the item code number, and you can find that and check it out at just £39.99. Um, coming up in the next hour, we've got Kerry back. Look at it, it's Liberty. I knew that we couldn't not see Kerry without a beautiful Liberty uh, option, which is beautiful. I love that. Our spool, she's going to spool us as well with all of the patterns at brilliant prices. Uh, just so you know, her Christmas pinwheel quilt is now sold out. Well done if you got it. Her bag, the Michael Miller, sold out. This always happens when Kerry's here. Oh, the Riley Blake bag, sold out. If you want the floral pinwheel quilt, you can still get that. Stay waiting for this. There's patterns available coming up in just a few minutes. We'll get Kerry back in and we'll see you after this. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing 
uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Christmas is going to be here before we know it and as with every year we want to make sure that we get our makes ready in time for gifting on the big day or for decorations in the lead up. We're here to help with our Christmas make shows starting with our three day event on Friday the 31st of July until Sunday the 2nd of August and we'll be live for five hours each day too. Expect lots of festival quilting, FPP, dressmaking and needle felting to make all your decorations, advent calendars, cushion covers and so much more. We'll have our expert tutorials from some of our favourite guest designers and a fabulous competition exclusively for our Sewing Street family. Keep your eyes peeled on our email newsletter, Facebook and Instagram for more details in the run up. And don't forget to tune in from 8am to 1pm on Friday the 31st of July until Sunday the 2nd of August on Freeview Channel 74, Sky 670 or on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello, welcome back, welcome back. We just had a, did you see my face just look like a rabbit in headlights then? We've just had a panic that there's supposed to be two cushions. Supposed to be two cushions here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> There it is. So, welcome back. Uh, Kerry from Living in Loveliness is here. She has designed the pattern. She's designed these beautiful cushions. Now I did say, right, I didn't think I'd do a show without Kerry where I didn't have a Liberty print involved and I knew that we would have one in store. These are beautiful. So, it's a bit worrying because the Michael Miller option of the bag sold out, the pinwheel quilt, uh, so many of them have already sold out. This is always going to be, well, well, it always is very, very popular when we're looking at Liberty Fabrics. Once again, you're going to have to search the code on the web shop. So get ready with your pen and paper to jot down the code. Which one should we start with? This one? Let's go with the pink. So this one is beautiful. Once again, for those of you that haven't seen Kerry before, we're all absolutely in love with her kit. They come so beautifully presented, all wrapped in tissue paper. Lovely little note from Kerry as well for you. So if you are gifting these, they come so beautifully presented. And I mean, the, the cost of them to say that you're getting everything that you need all presented so beautifully at um, the price point that we're doing, it's phenomenal. So you obviously can see that you're getting all of your fabrics already cut, ready to go. This is option one of your Liberty beautiful quilting white cottons. And then this isn't just a solid white. Once again, you've got your white on white with lovely floral print. It's such beautiful quality. And then you're also getting your lining. So can I show you just how much you're getting in here? Sorry that I'm messing up your lovely display. You've got, so you strip Liberty. Everything that you need to make your spool cushion. I do love this design. Another 
really big, gorgeous strip of Liberty. Look at that pink. It's one of my favourite collections, actually, from, um, from Liberty. It's so beautiful. It's a summer flower show range, and it's so pretty. Your blue, great selection of colours and all complementing each other beautifully. And then this white, you've, you've got enough for your uh, inner, and then you've also got your... Um, your white on white, which I know that you can't see on screen, but it has got the most delicate, beautiful print. It's such attention to detail uh, having this instead of just a plain white. There we go, thank you. Just turning the lights down a bit lower and you can see. Sorry, I sounded like I was in Bugsy Malone then, didn't I? <laughs> £23.99, get the whole kit. We're going to go through how you make it with Kerry. You get all of your instructions inside your kit, all of your pattern as well. But it is just beautiful. Did you see that? All those lovely colours. Thank you, Kat. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, that's option one. What's wrong? Oh, too much coffee. Too much fun. Let's go with, so also we will go through all this with Kerry. Remember, you do also get your key to let you know which uh, fabrics are where, which fabrics are fabric one, fabric two, fabric three, fabric four, fabric five, all of your lovely instructions with very, very clear photographs. Sorry, I keep hitting my microphone. Don't forget, there is your code. It's Q U Q L one seventy five. That is your item code number if you want to type it in to your, um, into the item code on the website. Option two, which is the blue spool that you can see to the side of me. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Great for your craft room as well. If you are thinking of a gift for somebody that loves sewing, it's really nice to be able to find a cushion, especially a Liberty cushion. You know how expensive Liberty cushions are anyway. Maybe you're sitting sewing, it's nice to be able to have a cushion behind your back, isn't it? To keep the posture, keep comfy. So why not have a nice Liberty one at that? So you've got uh, your all of your fabrics, your white and white, your lovely cotton as well, plus all of your instructions. Finish size of the cotton is an 18 inch square. So it's a nice big cushion, big statement cushion. And you have got options. I know, I know Carol will talk you through this, but she's done some beautiful decorative stitching on there as well. Right, the pattern on its own. The pattern is available on its own. You have everything that you need. Um, you can see it just down there. Your pattern is available on its own. Don't forget to search the code though. You will need the code. It's THL164. THL164. It's $9.99. Brilliant price. First time that we've offered it. You can get the pattern on its own. Maybe you've got fabrics that you want or sewing themed fabric that you want to create this with. All of your instructions, everything that you need to know is in that pattern. And of course, we're going to get carry on in a second and make the cushion along with you. Right. So. Should we go for it? Let's welcome in Kerry. If you have not yet shopped with us before, this is a quick reminder of how you do it. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping.
Literally, and there, just like magic. Just like that. <laughs> I think you were a bit concerned when you saw me unwrapping everything. I was like, do I just put that back all nice and neatly for you? So that's what we just spent the last 30 seconds doing. So this is option one. This is option one. With. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I love the patchwork school. I think it's lovely. And I was thinking back from your early bird this morning, it would look fabulous in those lovely sewing oh, fabrics. Oh, yeah. What a great idea. I was look, I was lovely watching that this morning and sewing fabrics. That, that would look fabulous that on would the look school. Gorgeous. Although, I tell you what, Liberty Can't is just Liberty. iconic, isn't it? And when you look at how much Liberty cushions are, it's a fortune. But to be able to have one that's a bit of a nod to our craft without being yeah. novelty, I mean, this is yeah. far from, it is Liberty London. Does it get any more high end? We do that. like Liberty. Really special. Yeah, we do. We, we do. do. I do love Liberty, and I like you. I absolutely. I love the bright range. Mm -hmm. I loved it in the pastel pastel colours, but I absolutely love this bright. I think because we've got the sunshine now, haven't oh. we? So it is quite nice to have a bold statement. Vibrant cushion, isn't it, in your Absolutely. sewing room? Absolutely. Now, for somebody who is not, uh, who wouldn't class themselves as a patchwork and quilter. Should they be worried about doing something like this? No, I actually, I always think, I do a lot of classes and I always say to people, the best thing to do when you start out is think about the thing that you actually want to sew. Mm -hmm. So don't go for something because you think that it's an easier project for a beginner, choose the thing. And actually, I would always recommend starting with patchwork because you pick up so many um, so many tips that you can transfer onto any other project that you do. And because right. you tend to repeat yourself, it helps with that quarter inch, it helps with your confidence. So no, absolutely not, it's a great project to start with. This cushion actually, it hasn't got any batting in there um, and there's no steps to show you how to quilt it, but if you are confident, then you can absolutely add some quilting to this. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a lovely lady who comes to my classes, Bridgie too tested the pattern as well and she's yeah. made this one for us with some, oh. with some great quilting and that's the lovely thing really, you know you can quilt it however you want to using the stitches on your machine and she was quite excited because she just had a new machine so it's quite nice to use those stitches isn't it? Brilliant, so it's a nice big cushion as well. Nice big cushion, well I, I always sit with a cushion behind my back when I'm sewing so it's quite mm -hmm. nice to have a nice a nice plump cushion, isn't it? It's always Absolutely. quite nice that covers the whole of your back. I can so see I've lost a piece. Pieces. Sorry, and I don't know whether I've unplugged I've your it. iron either. Nope, iron's Don't there, in. we're good, oh, and I can see the triangle. <laughs> we're ready, right, we're ready. So you've already pre-cut your pieces yes. and laid them out. Yes. So it's good to be able to create the picture of what it is that you're wanting yes, to Yes, definitely, and I just want to just make reference very quickly. One of the things that we've done in the pattern is your cutting guide is on that first page here, showing you exactly what you need to do, but you've got your reference, like you would with a block anyway, referring to those. I think sometimes it's just getting them in the right order. So just, you know, always refer back to those once you've done all of it. See, that's cutting. good to have anyway, because you obviously can reuse the, the pattern then and you could make a quilt to even, yes. couldn't you, repeat yeah. this block? Oh, it would look amazing if you had lots of different themes of fabric or lots of, and these are great really, patchwork is great for your remnants, isn't it? If you've got yeah. lots of, uh, if you've got lots of remnants of liberty, you could certainly make a fabulous quilt with those, repeating the blocks um, in there, definitely. Beautiful, right, so where I'm, do we start? We'll start with pinning, but I'm realising that I haven't put my pins... Have I moved There's, them? I can see a set just there. There we go. There is some larger pins here as well, if you wanted. They're little. Oh, yeah, I think they're can little, yeah, yeah, little applique pins. Oh, they're much easier to work with. Okay, so the first thing to do really is to break your block. Once you've got your block established into that pattern, is we're going to break it up into four sections. I'm just using the mat here to do that, so I'm working on each section there of the, of the uh, spool. And what, what I tend to do when quil um, working with a patchwork block is just repeat those stages. So now we've broken that up, you can see that the two opposites are actually the same block. Right. So we're going to start again with a little bit of a production line just down here in the bottom, simply by folding the fabric across so it's pattern facing, aligning that raw edge and just sliding those two pins through that project, through that panel just there. And again, the same just into this bottom corner as well. So just make sure your patterns are laid out in the correct way first, just refer into your diagram and just slide those pins. Again, I'm going to leave those pins far enough back so I haven't got to worry about removing them. And again, just using those pins as arrows. If you've got a quarter inch foot on your machine, then I would definitely recommend um, working with this one. And if you haven't, it's always worth the investment as well because it really does make the world of difference if you've got that guide there. 
You do get uh, the quarter of an inch foot with this machine, actually, and I find when you first start learning yeah. as well, it does really help because the, there's a little guard, isn't there, that sort yeah. of butts up against the end of your Yeah, fabric. so you ju as you say, just butting it up against, and then you know that all of your seams are going to be accurate. And just feeding those two panels, or those two triangles, just through. I think chain piecing like that actually would really help the chewing up at the start because yes. obviously you're starting with a point fabric and sometimes yes. your machine yeah. doesn't like starting on Yeah, on No, you're much. right. And and actually what's quite nice about the Liberty fabric because you've got the weight in there as well, it's not sucking into the machine like That's some good. lighter weight fabric will do. So the next thing that we're going to do is to just open up these panels. So with both of the triangles, we want to press to the darkest side here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is just turn this around, place the fabric flat, and put my iron up against that seam there. Do you press at every sort of Oh yeah, seam? absolutely, absolutely. And the other thing as well um, is, is cutting at every stage as well. That okay. really, really makes the world a difference. Certainly if you're um, new to this, if you're doing a lot of quilting anyway, you'll know the difference that it makes on there. But sometimes there is nothing to trim away, and then other times, and it really is dependent upon your fabric sometimes, um, there's a slither that needs taken away. And whilst you don't notice it by eye, and you certainly wouldn't notice it when you're making a bag, you do when you're doing a quilt. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking to achieve those lovely points, points. which is what we want um, in, the, in the patterns when we see them, uh, certainly on a cushion as well, because there's very few of these on here, then taking that extra time just really does change everything. So I've done the bottom corner, I'm doing it as a little bit of a production line, keep this nice and speedy. And then I'm jumping over to the second corner and just repeating that stage just there. If you're confident with quilting, you could do all of this at one time, but certainly if you're starting, I would recommend just doing, um, doing it in two separate sections. I really, really love quilting. I really love playing with blocks, especially yeah. half square triangles, seeing how they go together. Seeing all the different designs that you can do. I suppose this is a nice um, one to do if, as a beginner as well, yeah. because you're not looking at too many very complex blocks, but you're looking at blocks, like half square triangles, you'll see a lot in lots of quilt patterns, yeah. won't you? So it's good to get. And also, like previous, the quilt that we made a little earlier, I showed you a different way to achieve the half square blocks. This is a slightly different mm -hmm. technique as well. So there's different techniques yeah. you can learn from each block, each block that you do there. So again, we're just going to press to the darker side. So with a darker fabric sitting on top and just pressing along that seam. Because sometimes you can get a little fold if you're pressing from the back. So I always tend to press mine from the front and then turn it over to the back. And at this stage, this is definitely the stage that I said if you wanted to, you could leave this section out. But it's also the stage that I'd recommend doing as well. So just resting we've got the rotating cutting mat yeah, now so it does make a difference doesn't it oh yeah you said in definitely. the last hour oh you didn't have it there and you find yourself doing all sorts i'm so of used to angles. using the right. rotating cutting mat now so it just makes it a little easier especially on small pieces it means you haven't got to disturb your fabric so placing your ruler onto that seam so again because you've got those two bold fabrics you can see that your 45 degree angle is sitting I always tend to cut at an angle away from my, but I think it's because I'm quite short, really. Yeah. And this table is lovely in height, so <laughs> always cutting away. And then this time bringing that rotating cutting mat to you and trimming that second side as well. Now you can see that there is very little, you, you lose very little, but actually over mm -hmm. each section you might lose a little bit more. So we're going to do the same on the opposite side as well, so just squaring those off. These should end up three and a half inches. And we'll just repeat that for all four of those fabrics there. And this is the bit that sometimes people will leave out, and that's absolutely fine. But this is the bit that I really enjoy doing, because I know it's going to make my sewing journey a lot easier when I come to piece that together in just a moment. So always lining that up, resting your fabric on your three and a half inch line. And just by using your board in front of you, I particularly love this board, you're not moving too far, you're keeping that pattern in the same place as well. Yeah, I suppose that is a good point. I hadn't thought of that. If you're laying it all out, because you want to almost 
keep going back to yeah. putting it back to where it wants to be to keep checking that you're sewing well, it right be, together. To be honest, before board. I had this mat, if I'd got my ironing board set up, you're moving away from your mat and then you've got to, you know, if, you, if you're good by eye naturally, it's easy to put the block back together. But sometimes it does take a lot of thinking mm -hmm. to get that block back. So by just keeping that either on a mat, if you've got a separate mat, um, you just know that you can drop that back in and you haven't got to worry about that. Like I say, when you're working with such gorgeous fabrics and you know that it's going to make that difference just to make yeah. sure that you've got that accuracy, like you can see, it slivers coming it is, off yeah. it, but it will really help. And, and you might as well just spend that extra 30 seconds. It really is as well, only, only a few seconds. And although they are little slithers, sometimes it can amount to a quarter inch if you're taking a slither off each side. Okay. So we've got those two sections back together now. We're just put, returning that back to the pattern. And what we're going to do next is still working on this block down here. Here, We're bringing the two top pieces, placing them pattern facing and pinning towards our seam. And the most important bit, even though we know we've squared up, is this section here. Right, okay. That's where your point's going to That's your centre. Yeah, that's your centre. So if you do skip ahead and think, well, I'm not going to trim up, or you, maybe you've used your scissors to trim up, then definitely make sure this centre section is matching up because that's where we achieve those lovely points. And again, just pop in that. We'll do both together this time. So again, repeating it on the side. And that's what I really like about this block. It comes together really quickly, doesn't it? When really, you get to, yeah. Yeah, put together a bit of a production line. Really quickly. And if you're quite methodical about the steps that you're doing, so I'm working on the two of the same steps instead of individually, as you can see, it does come together quite quickly. So if you're like me and you're always very last minute and you want to make a sewing friend uh, a quick project, you know, you can run this one up. Yeah, it's not very uh, often that you find little sort of cushions that are, are really, well, with a nod to our craft on, is it? You could yeah. be looking around for ages trying to find a sewing related cushion, especially one with Liberty fabric. It's gorgeous, make a really great gift for somebody. I would like to get this as a gift. <laughs> yeah, oh, so would I. I'd love to receive it as a gift. And it's always really useful, like you say, whether it be in your sewing room, supporting your back when you're sewing, you'll yeah. always have a cushion. Or Kat says, I need a cushion in the, uh, in the gallery. Oh, there you go. You can have one of these when we're finished <laughs> with them. <laughs> I haven't really got uh, many spaces to hide more cushions. I think I've got so many cushions. I think when you're... Uh, when you're doing a lot of uh, sewing, you do tend to make a lot of cushions. So just to show you quickly, I've chain pieced the two pieces together. So you can put them all together if you'll remember, but if you're still a little unsure and you're starting, then just do them in your sections so you know where they're sitting. And then we know we've got that pattern back. So at this point, once we know the block is right, yeah. we turn the fabrics over. We're going to press one seam up so these lock together and one seam down. So you're basically pressing those seams in opposite directions. Okay. And this allows for our block to nest together. We'll bring these back over and we'll repeat on the second side as well. Let's just have a little look. Checking your nesting. Checking the nesting out there. Make sure we've got that right. I think I must have turned the Turn turn I think on. I've turned Steam it down, on. Yeah. It's probably me turning, um, yeah, playing with it earlier. There we go. So we've got the block. So it's always worth just double checking once you've done all of those stages. But it's all back in the right order. And the next thing we're going to do is bring one side over. It doesn't matter whether you work left or right. And what we're looking for here is these centre seams are nesting together. And you can feel that through your fabric. That's the nice thing is you can actually feel that. So it reduces the bulk as you're going to sew that through your machine. I'm sliding two pins as close as I can get them to the seam. I am working with a white thread, so that might be quite difficult. But I do find by sliding two pins close to that seam, it stops the movement as we're sewing. And again, just repeating that on the top. So I'm nesting those together, feeling through the fabrics and gliding those pins. I think that was off my applique earlier. It's got a little dab of glue on there. And that's another thing really, make sure you've got some really nice sharp pins so we don't want that to uh, make the fabric thread. 
So again, I've left those pins far enough back, so I'm just sewing across that seam. And I'll show you on the second one, but what I tend to do just for my own peace of mind here is just keep my finger onto the seam so I can feel that that's still snug. Yeah, sometimes it can want to wriggle the other yeah. way, can't it? And sometimes, just as it goes just across the plate, it can catch, catch. Onto, the, onto the raw edge. So just, I tend to just keep my finger on top of that seam and I can feel I don't through know, you the can fabric. stop. I mean, your, your needle's sort of staying down, isn't it? There's a needle yeah. down option on this machine, which yeah. is great, because if you do want to stop and rejig yourself, then it's, it's fine yeah, to do Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So just trim away your threads. Today I've had to do that a lot, haven't I, with this, with this belt that I've, had to, that I've got. I've had to stop reaching. I thought you were dancing. Oh, I've got a wonder clip on it now. I told you they're very versatile. <laughs> wonder clips, my favourite thing is the micro stitch gun. That's great. <laughs> it's a, the micro stitch they're gun's really good. Yeah, I wear a lot of dresses, so sometimes if there's a little wind, a little micro stitch, a little micro stitch in there. So we can see now that we've got that lovely flush seam there. We've got that lovely point, which is what we want to achieve. And just by following each of those steps, and we're just giving that a little press, both on the back and the front. And you can see on the back that your seams all nest and marry up on the back as well. And this is the nice. bit where it starts to get nice and it grow. It doesn't grow. It comes together very quickly. So just pressing that seam. And you can see the way these... Um, see the way these seam rest together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reduces the bulk, doesn't it? If they're all yeah. going the same way, then you'd have a real bulky centre there, yeah. actually. But... And also, if you are going to quilt this, um, we're not quilting this, and this isn't part of it, it is just a patchwork cushion, but there is um, a section in here that tells you if you do want to quilt, then of course you can do. And so having those seams flush makes it nicer and easier when you're doing your quilting. So we've got your two blocks ready. And to create this one at the bottom, we're just going to sew these two half triangles together. When you're working with your half triangles, you've got, have, you, have you got bias edges on, on these? Uh, not on, not no, on, no, not bias edges. So you don't need to worry about um, using best press or anything to try. I tend not to use best press. You could if you wanted to. I do like best press, actually. Do you use that a lot in your products? I do if I've got bias edges because I'll handle it way too much and probably have to unpick things and I find then they warp. So I do like using best press to just give it, especially if you, uh, it's a lighter weight fabric as well. Yeah. Just give it a bit more. I think because this is, is you've got, weight, yeah, you've got quilting weight here. If you are using a lighter weight fabric, I tend, if I'm creating a block, I tend only to use quilting weight fabric so it, it's one less thing. Yeah, you don't need to interface it. Yeah. There are some fabrics that um, do help if you do interface, that do fray. I like nice speedy things. So just trimming away those edges. So we've done those two outer corners. And just very quickly give this a little press again to the darkest side. And we will square up these corners as well. Because you can see just in those first two blocks that we've created, the difference it makes mm -hmm. just by squaring those up. So again, it does take just a few moments. I do love your detail of your choice of fabrics. There's a lot goes into choosing what fabrics go oh, into that's, the kits. I love, I love choosing the fabrics. I love choosing the fabrics. That white and on white is gorgeous. I, and attention to detail. I do love white on white. I think white on white is one of my favourite fabrics. I particularly like it um, when sashing putting any sashing onto a quilt to really, you know, to really highlight, to really highlight them. And I just think if you're going to work with white, it's nice to have a print as well. I'm always drawn to florals, so having that on there. Although in the tote bag earlier, we did have some stars in there. So yeah. that was, a, that was quite nice. That was quite a nice change. We'll just do that for the second one. The rotating cutting mat, by the way, uh, is available on the web shop, as is the little ruler. Um, the rotating cutting mat, not only, like you say, does it save you from moving your fabric around, you get the accuracy, but also safety when you're cutting with a rotary Oh, rotary yeah, definitely. Blade. And just, just quick, position, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It saves you disturbing your fabrics and just push away from you. I always find that I'm stood at, a, stood at an angle. Um, but always just making sure that you push those away. But I do, I think there's certain things that we have in our collections that we don't know how we ever... No, it's, it's one of those things that maybe you haven't got one, but once you start using it, you really like, you think, how did I ever live without it? I use it so much. <laughs> yeah. Especially on smaller blocks, this is your cutting mat, which is 12 by 12 inches, so you can do up to, you know, big blocks on there still, and it's £32.99. 
So Thank for you. this section... We've got about 10 more minutes. OK, we can do that, definitely. So for this section here, we're making sure the outer square is marrying up with that little triangle and we're bringing this and aligning that right, right angle just there. Right. I do like this tip about pointing your pins using them as arrows. I hadn't thought of that because I always then get to the sewing machine and think, right, I have no idea if I've got the right, if I'm stitching in the right, on the right side. So that's... Really I'm, well, I'm okay. very forgetful, but I do lots of different things as well. So it really helps me if I walk away from a project. It just, it's just a reminder for myself, really, where yeah. we're going with that. So you'll have a little quarter inch overhang here. We're sewing across to get this. So we're literally creating the opposite triangle. And just remove those pins. And with the pattern, the block facing us, we're just going to press against that fabric just there. And then we're going to line up the second side just here. And bring that across and pin that into position. We will make it in 10 minutes. <laughs> That's it. No pressure. I've pressed that seam the wrong way, so I'm just going to flip that over and avoid the pin. So we're actually pressing towards that square now for this little block to work. So you can see this little cross just right. there. And as I sit this onto the machine, I know where that point is with that quarter inch now. Oh, because it makes like a little V, doesn't yes. it? Yes. And I can see by looking at that that we will get that nice flush corner then. And the second time we're just going to turn this over onto the back this time, remove all of those joining threads. And now, as we press this into the centre, this now marries up with that line just there. So we've got that lovely half oh, nice. triangle. Which will nicely marry up with this one and bring this little block together. So with either of these facing up towards you, we're just going to bring that triangle on top, align those raw edges just there. I do find by working on the back where you see those seams meet mm -hmm. as you sew across that quarter inch you'll naturally see that on your machine so I always tend to make sure I can see that so I know before I open this that that point is going to meet yeah that's a good idea it's a sort of so it, although you can't see my thread you can actually uh -huh. see where those you'll be able to see that I'm working with a light thread and it's just a little bit of guidance for you when you're seeing that on your sewing machine see what's going on a bit instead yeah. of working from the, the back of it and again, just keeping my finger on top of there. I can see very quickly, or feel through. I got sidetracked to what I was talking about then. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see this block. <laughs> there we go. So as we press that seam now, you can see oh, that lovely. beautiful, that beautiful point just there. And what we may not have time to do, but again, these are in your instructions, is to show you how to complete those blocks. But there are some nice little tips for you um, to get those together. I do just want to quickly show you how to put the one side together. So we're simply bringing the top over to the bottom again. You do need to square this section up or just check that and that should finish at seven and a half inches. Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to skip that out. But actually at this stage, you can skip that little stage and square up the block anyway in a moment. Just take that little corner off. And again, sewing across there to bring those two sections together. Now there is some sashing on the quilt as well, so it's a really oh, nice one. around, like, you, is this this part here, your border? Yeah. And then so you've got the corner stones as well, your corner pieces. That's it, yeah. I just think that's a great way to bring the colours onto the outside as well. Yeah, it really sort of draws your eye. Especially with the it? brights, with the blue and the uh, the yeah. blue and the pink. We've got one half done. Just make sure your seams on this side, because what's really important here is this centre seam. When you've created the opposite side, that those um, seams again are pressed in opposite directions. So one up and one down. As long as they're in opposite directions, they'll naturally nest together, as they did here. Brilliant. Amazing. Everything is all in your instructions. All anyway, in the instructions. Lots of pictures and there's lots of diagrams in these instructions oh, as well. Oh, you will love it. It's such a beautiful project and I think very useful, especially like we say, if you've got any sewing friends, this would be beautiful. Shall we 
Shall we see if we can get that little? Yeah, handle? I'll, I'll quickly um, just remind you of the kits whilst we're, you're stitching away. So the option one, remember, is the Liberty, which is the one that we're working with. So you're getting your beautiful three different Liberty prints or from that summer show flower range, which are gorgeous. You're also getting your white on white. Uh, and so the white, that, the other white that comes with it, yep. where the, does that go? So the white, so once we've created the block, mm -hmm. because you're going to put your um, cushion inner in there, what we don't want to do is put any pressure onto these seams. So you simply place that piece of white fabric flat, put your block on top, and then just do um, sew around all four sides. Right, brilliant. It just protects those seams in there. So that's your white. You can see this is for the one that we'll make with the pink option. That's option number one. All your fabrics and your instructions from Kerry for $23.99. Fantastic price when you're talking about Liberty, the ultimate, absolute ultimate. We've also then got option two. Just going to put that on the shelf down here. <laughs> then we've also got option two, which is, yeah. Same price point. Option two is your blue, which is again just behind me here. So you're getting all three of your Liberty prints. Your white on white, the lovely detail. Your white fabric, your white cotton as well, plus all of your instructions. £23.99. Fantastic price point. Both very, very popular. Both very popular. I wouldn't be surprised, in fact, everybody who is uh, multi buying and getting both, if you can't decide, absolutely, at that sort of price point, think about how much you pay for Liberty cushions. Uh, if you do want the pattern on its own, we do have an option of getting the pattern on its own as well. It is incredibly popular. Remember, you need to search the item code, which is THL164, THL164, just £9.99 for your spool cushion. Maybe you've got some uh, haberdashery notion themed fabric that you want to use for this or some fabric in mind and you can get the pattern on its own or give the pattern just £9.99. Thank you, Kerry. Or the fabric and the pattern and that's it. It's all there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it, absolutely. The fabric you had this morning. I do love that fabric you had this morning. Oh, well, that's a gorgeous fabric this morning. You know, the uh, ombre ones as well. They look brilliant. I was... Uh, Iron up that floral fabric that you've got just... Uh... I knew you would. I mentioned you in the last day. I said, I can imagine you in a dress with this. It's I came so in and I was like, oh, this fabric. So lovely. Kat said, that's exactly what you said I would say. I knew it, I knew it. We know your taste. We know you too well. There we go. So Amazing. that is pretty much your block put together. Just as I said, onto the back. Just remember to press those seams in opposite directions so they nest together. Brilliant, thank you so, so much. It looks amazing, doesn't it, all come together in the Liberty especially, make the most of the kits. We're <laughs> gonna have uh, a chance to message Kerry, remember, if there's anything that you would like to ask her on the show, we've got all of these patterns that are coming up individually. So if you've seen Kerry in the past and you love her patterns, we're gonna have a bit of a roundup and have a look through all the patterns individually. But if you do wanna get in touch with the show, this is how you do it. Did you see how you messaged studio? No, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Or, of course, um, Sewing Street TV is the Facebook page if you want to message in. Right, we've got all of your patterns. Like magic. Like magic. <laughs> Telly magic. Um, it's the first time that we've been able to bring you it these. It is. It's the yeah. first time we've brought patterns onto the show. So it's very, ex very, exciting very exciting day exciting. today. Oh, I've got the samples here. There's lots of ones that you will have seen um, throughout the whole of the, well, since you were here back in. In February was it? No, I think when March, did... March, April. I'm not sure. Yeah, was it April? Uh, somewhere, like, yeah. somewhere along you those might lines. Have seen them. We'll try and give you the dates <laughs> as we can because Kerry's been in demonstrating them as well. So, which one is it that you want to start with, Hannah? We've got so many. I mean, we're going to be able to do them all individually. Um, we're going to be able to do them all individually at <laughs> a very special price point as well, aren't we? Very special price point. 
exciting. It doesn't matter whichever one you want to go to. Which is your favourite? Do you have favourites? I do. Go on then. Yeah, I, my favourites are always storage solutions. Mm. I love storage solutions. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I'm very organised, but I do really like having everything um, easily accessible. So my favourite is always going to be the craft caddy. Mm -hmm. It's just so useful. Um, and this has been made so many times. Mm -hmm. Shall I pop it there? This yeah, has been made cool. so many times in my classes. And I always think it's the perfect accessory to have on your sewing journey because we start with a few little bits and our accessories and notions and projects grow very quickly. It's very sturdy, so I particularly love working with Bozal Foam because it offers that stability. And it just means it organises everything, makes it nice and accessible. And if you enjoy going to classes, or maybe you go um, to friends and you'll sew together, it just keeps everything in the same place. And of course, you've got that centre section there to keep your pattern. So um, the, I mean, there's so many uh, different, you can put all your rotary cutters, yeah. your pens, your marking yeah. tools, all your fabric in there. I've, on the um, inside as well, I've seen pockets. a couple of these posts um, as well where people have left the side open so actually they can sit their patterns into the side of the caddy as well. So in the pattern it shows you, you know, it will say think about what you're considering storing in here. Um, it might be your rulers, your rotary cutters, your notions, but actually somebody left the whole side, the whole section to stick all there. Good idea. So yeah, it's a great idea. You can make it into whatever sort of size, like you yeah. can see on this side, we've made some smaller pockets. Yeah. So it's you, again, as, as Kerry was saying, you've also got the pockets on the inside and Look at all this beautiful fabric. Have you got some of your favourite fabrics in your stash that you've been wanting to make your own storage caddies? Um, so you've used, did you say a bosal? A there? bosal foam in this, yeah. And that comes in um, that comes in your kit, but it does give you the measurements that you'll need there for this particular project. And what's great is it's quite versatile, so you can adapt it if you if you enjoy knitting and crocheting and you want the pockets smaller. Yeah, so. Exactly, yeah. If you do want the pattern on its own, it's the first time that we've been able to do it. It's V O L one zero nine. V O L one zero nine. How is it that we've been able to get this under ten pounds? Because How I twisted your arm. Well, I offered actually, so okay. I thought it would be a nice way to say thank you to everybody that's supported me on this journey since starting with Sewing Street. So. Oh, amazing. and the team have been, you've all been amazing, and it's actually really nice to meet you, so I just thought it's a nice thing to do. It encourages <laughs> people to sew. I love it. So if you do want to have a go at Kerry's Patterns, it's the first day that we've ever been able to bring you the patterns on their own, £9.99. That's an example, but of course, you can make one now in whatever fabric you want. We have got a sewing foam available, I think it's called Starville on the website if you do want to add that in as well to create the structure okay so next one so to complement it naturally what was designed at the time to complement the craft caddy was the natasha clutch right. so it is called the natasha craft clutch of course you could use this and i think when i did the demonstration i said it's perfect to put your sunglasses on and you you know if you go into the beach to drop into your beach bag all your bits that you want to protect in there but mm -hmm. what's quite nice about this is the width of the natasha actually allows for you to keep your rotary cutter Could you spin it round please yeah oh sorry perfect thank you um it allows you to keep your rotary cutter and and your accessories in there and also if you enjoy um hand sewing it's great for traveling so what is it that you get inside of your pattern? So inside the pattern you're getting all of your templates, so yeah. all of the templates that are in there. I think there. we're allowed to open it. Oh, we can? Yeah, go for it. Fab. So you get all of your templates. So you get all of your templates, you get the step-by-step -step instructions, you get your welcome letter. So your welcome letter oh. really is to just, um, thank you for choosing to buy it, but also to just give you some hints and tips about using about using the pattern, what you see malevolences on there, um, and, and just different things like that. And really, I always refer to each pa each template as a letter, so it just reinforces that that's really important as well. Um, and I love designing these. I love taking the step-by-step -step, um, photos. It's really very nice, because I think sometimes when you sew something, you really enjoy doing it, and you'll go on to another project, and sometimes it can be difficult to remember what you actually did or one of the stages. By having the photos and also your um, written instruction as well, it's just an easy reference for you to drop back onto. And I think really you would read the instructions first time around, but if you were doing it maybe two or three months down the line, you could just have a quick look at the picture and it would just remind you what that step was. Now, I think we've got actually a Living in Loveliness playlist on YouTube. So if you type <laughs> Sewing Street and Living in Loveliness, you've got a whole playlist, you've got all of Kerry's demonstrations. So we made this back on the show um, so you can watch it back on YouTube. I think this is going to be a pattern that you make 
quite a yeah. lot of yeah. times with lots of different fabrics with lots of different people yeah, lots absolutely. of different uses I know you did it in a wall as well oh, didn't yeah. you I do love I do love working with wool I do love the it, it looks like a completely different project I think dependent upon the fabric that you design, decide to work with it can look completely different although it's the same well that could be although like a little clutch fashion. that you have to take to a it wedding it complement or go out. Your, what you're wearing oh, today you. as well <laughs> it's really nice i'm thinking for anybody who does english paper pieces perfect yeah absolutely on the move sewing any stitching on the move that is beautiful the pattern on its own nine pounds 99 we love the natasha clutch it's always been one of the big favorites brilliant Fab. On to the next one which you've got the bag by the looks things have you got there that we there? go we can do the bag yeah so this is the Alexi messenger bag. Fantastic. So initially, I actually designed this as a smaller bag. And as a family, we do a lot of walking. We go to, um, we go on a lot of hill walking. I have to say, I went a few weeks ago and it was a bit of a shock have to the system. Have you been to the Malvern Hills? No. Oh, it's so beautiful. No, we're going oh. to Snowden this oh, weekend. Wow, yeah. So I think it's going to be a bit of a shock because we, we did go walking up one a couple of weeks ago and I had to come back down. It was a bit too <laughs> difficult because I haven't done much no. through lockdown. <laughs> And we were trying to blame it onto the children, but they definitely knew it was me. <laughs> but Brilliant. when we go out, it was designed initially as a smaller version of this bag. It's the same pattern, but it's just great, really. If you're out and about walking, we take the dog with us. So it just there's lots of sections in this bag. You've got four pockets, two on the inside. I'll turn that that way. Two on the inside and you've got two on the outside. I particularly love having a pocket on the back close to my body so I can keep my phone. Yeah. There's no um, magnetic clasps or anything, so it's easily accessible, mm -hmm. but because I know that my phone's quite close to me, so any of your valuables can go into there. Um, and then you've got your pockets on the inside as well. So it's got this, a longer handle, hasn't it? We've looped that yes, handle on yes. this. But, um, so the handle finishes it. at 42 inches on this bag. Um, in your pattern, it does say to you... To it's a nice one to have over your shoulder. I always wear I like mine it across like my shoulder, yeah. but some people may prefer the strap shorter. So it just recommends in the pattern how to measure yourself up to get the right size for yourself as well. Brilliant. Love that. That is gorgeous. And again, it looks amazing, obviously, in Rayleigh Blake. But of course, your chance now to just get the pattern on its own. Don't forget to search the code FDL167 for your Alexi Messenger bag. Thank you. Oh, is that a different way, colourway as well? <gasps> it's funny, really, because when we go out hill walking, people have got rucksacks and the whole, you know, the. I've got a pretty floral. Bag. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything else. That's gorgeous. Okay, so we've next got the wall. Shall orders? we do the wall hanging? So, again, this is another um, really useful project. This is your Maya wall hanging. All You've seen of, adaptations of this as well, yes, haven't you? Yes, yes. It's really quite nice, actually. You, on your Facebook page, I'd seen somebody who'd bought the kit and they adapted this. And I did recommend that one of the ladies had used it for the back of a car seat by just attaching a little bit of elastic on there. So it's a great way to organise your car. But most importantly, it's great for organising your sewing room, perhaps on the back of your sewing chair um or you know even on the wall just behind you tell you what this would look so nice in the bundle that we had in the last hour you know the ones that you <gasps> loved. loved they are beautiful uh do you know the, yeah go on go for I'm it i'm so excited when i walked in oh, do you love they're lovely i aren't love they? these they're amazing i walked in and stopped in my track and i was like oh, i think this would look really nice absolutely and what i love about this my daughter's called honey so um i tend to buy a lot of honey themed fabrics because obviously she's yeah. called honey so it's lovely that it complements in there but oh. these are just beautiful oh i love those they would go perfectly with this uh with the wall hanging the bundle you get half a meter of each fabric they are available on the website by the half meter so if you're eyeing up kerry's dress and you're thinking Do you know what i'd love a floral <laughs> dress like that that one's very similar colours, actually. Which we choose? Ooh. Oh, gosh, they're both gorgeous. Summer and winter. There you go. Easy. Sorted. <laughs> uh, so if you do want, that's the the bundle for the all four half metre pre-cuts, but have a look on the website as they're available by the half metre as well. Back to the um, what you get in the pattern. So, so you get all of your instructions. Again, all of your instructions in there, you step by step. I think what's quite nice about this pattern as well, and the thing that comes up a lot um, in classes is how to add binding. So if you like the look of binding mm. to finish a project, I particularly love adding binding to something. One, to get the most from my fabrics, but it's got your step-by-step -step instructions, how to add binding to perhaps a smaller project. 
um, than making a full quilt. Yeah, and of course absolutely. we've got those and get fabrics. Practicing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, they've got lovely deep pockets as well. And as we said earlier on with the storage caddy, you can think about what you're storing in there and, and make the the pockets to whatever size you want work accordingly. So that one, the pattern on its own, again, just nine pound ninety nine. You need to search the code WML one o one. Fantastic. I naturally want to put them all in packaging. I oh, know. <laughs> Sorry. I'm and organise it for our lovely Hannah there. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got the cosmetic bag. We have. So this is, these are, oh no, the, that's it, already. this is Yasmin. So this is your Yasmin cosmetic bag. Do you want me to take this out? Or yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is perfect. Again, it was designed as a cosmetic bag, but again, you could use it for any project. What I particularly love about this project is I'm mm -hmm. quite lazy sometimes when putting my makeup on and I just want to access the, the brushes quite yeah. quickly. Um, and so there's two little pockets in the front. There's a pocket in the front and there's a pocket in the back of there as well. So you, they're easily accessible for maybe your lipsticks oh, nice, or, your, a nice or your brushes. nice boxy bottom as well. And a it? nice wide bottom with your box corners. So again, this is a great project if you're starting out and you want to know how to box your bottoms, you want to know how to do applique, and of course, you want to know how to put your zip installation. And I'm quite passionate about encouraging people to have a go at putting zips. I think we tend to leave it through fear of working with a zip. So it's a nice project. You get lots of hints and tips in there. And, and how many people are going to want this as a gift? Because this is so useful, isn't it? And what a lovely, fancy, lovely, fancy cosmetic bag. When we can start maybe going to visit relatives or go to different, uh, on ho little holidays, oh, it would yeah. be so nice to be able to take a nice, fancy cosmetic bag. 9 99 is your uh, cost for the pattern, remember. And it's so luxurious. You've put some wadding in there, yeah. haven't you? I tend to use wadding in most of my projects anyway. I, I really enjoy because on there as well, perhaps what I didn't mention or maybe you can't see is that we've used those decorative stitches. So it's a nice yeah. way to have a play with your machine and use those decorative stitches and those lovely threads that you've got just adding a little bit on Fantastic. there. Fantastic. We have wadding available by the half metre on the website as well. Loads of you have already got that. Uh, the Wildflower fabric, by the way, that we had um, had a look at a, a second ago. Um, the bees sold out on their own. Hexes sold out on their own. The two floral you can get. Oh no, you can't get by the half meter. They're both only available in the bundle. I think we love oh. those. They're beautiful. There's five they bundles remaining. So the, the only way of getting the, the, the bee and the hexes, if you do like that collection, we think it would look beautiful with all of your designs. It's Very so good. lovely. Very so, so I need to have a chat to see. But maybe when we come back and do another yeah. project, we'll have some of these. Oh, they they're are really so nice. Beautiful. They're so beautiful. Cosmetic bag, though, brilliant idea. There's so many people that are going to want these. Christmas ideas, you could just make loads yeah. and loads. Run them up quite quickly. Brilliant. Then our cushion. The cushion. So this is I the Katie envelope cushion. You loved this one, didn't mm -hmm. you? So this really is, I designed this to get the most out of the fabrics. Uh, generally when I'm choosing the fabrics for the kits I choose the fabrics and then I can visualize what pattern they're going to go into but on this one I couldn't decide for the back so I've used two different fabrics on there you pattern again you're getting all your step by steps and you're learning a few new techniques in here how to do that echo quilting just some nice simple echo quilting with some hints oh, and tips yeah. It looks gorgeous having that input. <coughs> you can just about see it, can't you, on camera? And it's stunning. Once again, you've used like a, <coughs> a, a white on white fabric through the centre, haven't you? And the, the Liberty prints. But once again, this is going to be a brilliant one to use your stash, maybe some Tilda prints, um, even just some bright colours. That's yeah. going to look really, really nice. So that's your Katie cushion. We were saying about using a, a cushion for in the base <laughs> of your back. Um, when you're sewing, this is going to be absolutely ideal. This is a great size for in the car as well, if you yeah. like having a cushion in the car. How lovely That's would it one. look in your car? <gasps> oh, I say it. that, there's definitely not one of those in my car. <laughs> I know, oh gosh, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. That's such a good it's idea. Beautiful. I'll I keep that one. I haven't got the, um, I haven't got the uh, example of the other cosmetic bag. What's the difference between the There is the, the cosmetic, oh, the example of I haven't got the example of it, sorry. <laughs> the, the difference really is that you're learning in here. So I just want to show you these. Um, templates actually from this. We like adding pleats. I think pleats really give a project because this really is a nice, easy, simple mm -hmm. pattern. But by just adding the pleats onto there, it really gives some definition to your project. And on your pattern here, um, really nice and easy to use. So it's just showing you how to mark up your fabric and where to position those single crosses onto your double crosses there to create those pleats and to just give you the confidence in your other projects. Maybe you want to transfer that skill onto a bag. 
but it is you we all need a nice easy we all need a nice little easy cosmetic Absolutely. bag so it's a nice simple project nice fast one to run up again uses very little fabric from this one but this is perfect if you're considering playing with zip installation mm -hmm. um, and again because it uses remnants of fabric so I would say really for a project like this it's a great Good way to stash. use those great for your stash definitely Fab. £9.99 we've got exclusive prices remember we've got fabulous prices thanks to Kerry so do make the most of them on the website we're going to see you tomorrow aren't we oh, I'm so excited about you ready for Christmas <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm really late this year. Oh my god. But word. because I've spent I've spent the last couple of weeks thinking, singing, talking about mm. and celebrating. I even had Christmas decorations up at one point to record a tutorial. Really? It was so exciting. Oh, Nobody good. else in my family was excited. Oh, that's so good. Well, we'll see you in full festive swing tomorrow, won't Definitely. we? Definitely. Thank you so much. We You're love welcome. seeing you. Lovely to see Brilliant you too. Today. I'll see you soon. I'll see, see you soon. soon. Those of you that uh, haven't yet checked out your baskets, this is how you do it. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Right, now we wanted to do a bit of a roundup of all of the kits that you've seen from today's show and loads of them have sold out. My um, kits are looking quite sparse now. Um, there's so many that have already sold out. So, let's start with the bag from the first hour. Now, the only way of getting it is the pattern on its own. Uh, so there is no other way of being able to get the Alaya free motion bag. Um, those of you that missed the show earlier on, oh, it's a beautiful tote bag. It's fully lined. It was in the eight o'clock show, um, which will be, it will be repeated tomorrow. Uh, so nine pounds, 99 for your pattern on its own. It's the first time that we've been able to offer any of the living in loveliness patterns on their own. The Alana, beautiful tote bag pattern in all, with all of your templates, all of your photograph instructions. And those of you obviously that have met Carrie before, you know that she's a brilliant, brilliant teacher. So she's ever so clear with her, her instructions and photographs. The prices, by the way, we asked Kerry, how on earth have you done this? She said, well, I offered. I just wanted to say thank you for making me so welcome at Sewing Street, which is just so lovely, isn't it? So it, it is at a lower price than anywhere else that you can see the living in loveliness patterns, even Kerry's website. So definitely make the most of them whilst you can. The pinwheel quilt we had available in Christmas fabric. That sold out. It gives me a... I know what it's going to be like all weekend. It's going to be busy, busy, busy. If it's any indication of how quick this pinwheel quilt sold, um, it's going to be a very popular weekend. This is a big quilt. It's a 50 inch square and a classic pinwheel design. Two contra con contrasting colours is what you're going to need. Enough for your, your binding, of course, as well. In fact, Carrie said, metre and a half of each of your contrasting fabrics uh, and you'll have some leftover, plenty leftover. In fact, you could make cushions to match. £11.99, the first time that we've had any of Kerry's patterns on their own. Really excited about that. We do also have the pinwheel option in the floral that we demoed with, which is this one. So you have your pattern, you have your fabric, which is your uh, lovely floral, enough for your binding as well. So your strips are already cut for your binding. You just need to add um, your wadding, wadding in your backing, that's it. 
It's enough for your binding, the front and the binding, and it's a beautiful big quilt for $44.99. I think that's a brilliant price, especially as the quality. It's not just plain white, it's really pretty floral white on white fabric, which you'll love. If you want any of the Liberty Spool cushions, they're available on the website. You'll be able to, to find them on there. Um, those of you that haven't yet experienced our machine deals that we've got, oh my word, we will launch and we're gonna show you all of them after this. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're gonna adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved and it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Christmas is going to be here before we know it. And as with every year, we want to make sure that we get our makes ready in time for gifting on the big day or for decorations in the lead up. We're here to help with our Christmas make shows, starting with our three day event on Friday the 31st of July until Sunday the 2nd of August. And we'll be live for five hours each day too. Expect lots of festival quilting, FPP, dressmaking and needle felting to make all your decorations, advent calendars, cushion covers and so much more. We'll have our expert tutorials from some of our favorite guest designers and a fabulous competition exclusively for our Sewing Street family. Keep your eyes peeled on our email newsletter, Facebook and Instagram for more details in the run up. And don't forget to tune in from 8am to 1pm on Friday the 31st of July until Sunday the 2nd of August on Freeview Channel 74, Sky 670 or on our YouTube channel.
oh, it is Christmas tomorrow. And I must say, I was talking to, to the girls. I'm not here this weekend. I, honestly, I feel really upset that I haven't got any Christmas projects. Um, it's going to be brilliant. Although, do you know what? The strangest thing is, is that we're going to be launching Christmas on the hottest day probably of the year. It's going to be 32 degrees here. Luckily, we're in a well-ventilated, air-conditioned room in here. So John will be fine. Um, is it John tomorrow or Debbie? John's launching Christmas tomorrow. Oh, you know what? He, he will be so excited. He adores Christmas anyway. So he'll be, oh, amazing. We've got uh, Kerry coming back tomorrow. If you loved her demos today, she's got Christmas tomorrow. Which is exciting. In fact, she's still got a microphone on now somewhere. So we'll probably hear her chatting away about the um, <laughs> about Christmas shows. Loads coming up over the weekend for you. Now, this hour, um, we're going to be talking about three of our favourite machines. Now, of course... I was talking about this with Kat earlier on. I said, you know what I absolutely love about being part of Sewing Street is that if you are, you know, a sales representative and you're talking about a certain machine, then obviously you're selling that machine. The great thing about us here is that I'm not here to tell you to buy um, any of them, really. It's up to you to make that decision. It is what machine number one is in your price range, what you're looking for from a machine, what you're wanting to achieve. So, Kerry was talking about her sewing journey all through the hour, and I think that's a, a sort of perfect way of putting it, is where you are on your sewing journey. If you're starting to sew, and you've never sewn before, I'm not going to sort of steer you towards this machine. Those of you that are, um, uh, you know, somebody who is a quilter or getting into sewing as a profession, doing lots and lots of sewing, then this would be something that I would recommend. Right? There's so many great positives about all machines. The main thing is, is when we launch a machine and when we bring on a machine, then we're very, very confident that it does the job brilliantly we wouldn't bring on a machine that we're going to put you off sewing with do you know what I mean if we if we bring you a machine that isn't great then you're probably going to get fed up of sewing because you just can't get your machine going and you think I'm just going to leave it in the box and I'm not going to do sewing again and then you're not going to be part of our community so we obviously want to bring you the best machines we possibly can when you're talking about two brands such as Juki which we're going to be talking about first, and Elna, you know that you're looking at the big boys in the sewing world. And I think that is probably the first thing that if I were you sitting at home now, wondering which ones to go for, what um, does it have, or um, why are these, these prices? If you are sort of asking yourself these questions, the first thing I would say is, right, is it a reputable brand? Do I want to invest in that brand? Because uh, it is almost like when you're buying cars, these are the big boys in the world of sewing. They are very, very renowned. They're not new kids on the block. They have been making sewing machines for years and years and years and years and years. And we have fantastic relationships. Even though we're a new show, we are only launched back in February. Everybody who's working behind the scenes and um, on screen as well, I've got years of um, experience in the industry. And we work with lots of different companies and a lot of people want to work with us, which is exciting. So Gary, who you might have met, who is a representative from Juki and Jane from Elna, they're both extremely knowledgeable and have taught us all so, so much. And they've all done dedicated hours to each of the machines that I'm going to show you. So throughout the show, I'll also reference some dates as well, where you can watch back and have a really good look of Gary and, uh, and Jane talking about the machines we're talking about got the 680, uh, the 570A, and then we've also got the absolute spaceship of a machine, which is this one. Now, straight away, you will notice this is not an entry-level machine by any means. This is a very high-end, gorgeous machine. The first thing that I knew about Juki was that they were, um, I thought... They were one that you hear with industrial machines. And they do have a very industrial sort of grounding and background. And Gary, those of you, oh, we love Gary. Hannah, in particular, loves Gary. She finds him ever so interesting. Oh, he also scuba dives in Thailand, apparently. Um, so, yeah, we, we love Gary because he's, he's actually comes from a mechanic sort of background. He comes from an engineering background. So when he talks about the build of this machine and the engineering and his passion for the build of it, you start to go, ah, hang on. 
this is like a spaceship, not a car. This is so cool. You can watch Gary Bag, if, and I really recommend if you are thinking about, you know, investing in a machine of this level, if you go onto YouTube and type in Sewing Street, and then the date, 11th of March, or just Juki, if you type in Sewing, machine, uh, machine, uh, sewing Street and Juki, you'll see our lovely Gary, and he's from Juki. He comes in to talk about this machine for a whole hour. So, first of all, let's talk about this as a price because it is one of the higher end machines that we stock. It is, I think, probably one of, if not the most expensive machines that we stock. But you get a warranty through Juki, you get a two year warranty through Juki. Um, that is as standard across their board. They have a fantastic customer service team based here in the UK. It's no extra postage and packaging other than the £3.95 and it will come direct from the manufacturer Juki with our post and packaging. If you look for this machine elsewhere, it is obviously a little bit more specialised than the random machines. You're not going to necessarily go to the high street prices to find this machine. It is a bit more specialised. But you can find it, I'm not going to lie, it's out there. It isn't a machine that's exclusive to us. You can go and have a look elsewhere and I know I always do it. You can do it too. And it is this price point. Everywhere we found it, it is exactly this price. The difference that we have with our relationship with Juki is that we're offering you two hundred pounds worth of free machine feet on top of what it already is. Uh, it already comes with a huge array of accessories which I'll go through in a minute but your two hundred pounds worth of free accessory feet include your free motion uh, adapter foot. So you've got all different free motion, you've also got as I say your adapter foot as well. So the adapter foot means basically that if you've already got feet from other machines and this is your upgrade, the majority of them will now be able to work with this machine as well, which is brilliant. I'll tell you what, that will be saving you more than £200 because you're not going to have to keep buying new feet that you love that they don't necessarily have with this machine. It comes with that adapter. Brilliant. So we have that exclusive bundle, £200 worth of saving. So let's face it, yes, we know the machine is the same price, but you're making a £200 saving. Have a look elsewhere, I urge you to, but you will pay this. Personally, uh, Hannah's having a look now and she says, I haven't found it as a new machine any sort of less than this, anywhere, you know, less than this. This is the price of the machine. But because of our relationship with Juki, we're offering £200 worth of free machine feet. So, would you like to hear more about this machine? As I say, this is for somebody that wants a really solid, amazing quilting, dressmaking, embroidery machine. No, uh, this is what I love, Gary says, no jazz hands, no singing and dancing. It is a solid job. It does the job and it does it really well, really well. So, have a look at this. This is some of the main features and functions of the machine. So, you can see straight away from the uh, the picture at the top there, it comes with a huge extension table. Now the throat space on this machine is really big anyway. So you, if you are a quilter, you're gonna have no problem quilting your big, big 80 inch quilts on here. If you're doing dressmaking, curtains, if you sew for a profession, this is going to be really, really useful to have that extra sewing space, especially when you've got your, your, uh, your extension table on. I'm, I'm guessing this is a machine that, sorry, I keep jumping, but I just want to mention about that, the, uh, the extension table. This isn't a machine that you're not necessarily going to be lugging around, taking here, taking there. It is a weighty machine. So if you have got a dedicated sewing space, leave that extension table on because it will give you a great sort of stability onto your needle bed and give you lots of sewing space. The main features and functions always love. I know how much our guest designers absolutely adore the thread trimming, automatic thread trimmer. You've also got that workspace of 100 and, 304 millimeters by 120 millimeters. That is a really big workspace. Again, with attention to detail on their lighting, they've made sure that you've got plenty of vision, bright vision throughout the whole of that bed space. Adjustable LED lighting for any coloured fabric, so if you do want to adjust those lights, you've got options to do it on the computer side of the machine um, there as well. You've got your automatic needle threader. No need to, you know, be squinting, trying to th spend time threading those needles all the time. We've all done it. Uh, threads 
threads the needle with a press of a lever. You've got the interchangeable single needle system. Now, what is brilliant about this Duke machine, oh, in fact, let me carry on with the list and then I'll come back to that. So it's equipped with the Duke is smart feed. So you know when we talk about using a walking foot, this is a built-in smart feed. This is going to uh, go through lots of different layers of fabric for quilts, goes through lots of different thicker fabrics with your denim. No matter what fabric you're putting through this machine, it's going to be, a, it's not going to struggle. It's going to get through them all very, very well uh, and very efficiently. So you've also got your variable foot lift function. So depending on how many layers you're working, you can lift it up even higher. You can alter that depending on what you're working with. The easy setup with touchscreen display. So even though, yes, it looks, as I say, quite, quite complex, as it is a computerized machine, they've also thought, look, this isn't an industrial machine. This is a domestic machine still. Uh, therefore, they want to make it user friendly for you and me, for everybody who um, might be upgrading to their first fancy, fancy computerized machine uh, and you want it to be user friendly. It's got the bright touch color panel. Do you know old school touch screens that aren't very reactive? This is very, it's beautiful, touch sensitive, great color. You have no trouble seeing what you're doing. So beautiful buttonholes with ease, free motion sewing. If you did see Kerry's demonstration, you can do some beautiful free motion sewing with this. Highly responsive electric uh, knee lifter level. That's interesting. You've also got a foot switch, which can be positioned on left or right. You've got customized to your favorite functions and you've got 351 built in patterns. So just when I say, it isn't all singing, all dancing. You've still got 351 built-in patterns. It's still got everything that you're going to want to need, surely. Um, the whole customized favorite functions, I love. We all get into a bit of a routine of what we do when we're sewing and what we want from our sewing, what we like from our sewing. So whether it be every time you finish the stitch to end with a locking stitch or to end with the thread cutting. This is so, so interesting. So, this is when I'm thinking industrial head. This is when I'm thinking Juki. They've obviously got this from their industrial background. Time saving, time saving. This is not just an ordinary foot pedal. Oh, no, 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 no. It actually has a thread cutter. So this button on the end, when you press that in, that will also snip your thread. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's almost like, you know, when you, you, you're used to driving a manual car and you sit in an automatic and your foot goes to do it and you're thinking about changing the gear. It's almost a bit strange to get used to. It will take you a little bit of getting used to. But when you get used to it, oh my word, it is a game changer, a time saver. You can really concentrate on the accuracy without having to look and move your hand. You can still concentrate on your sewing. So we love that from Juki. Also, if I shimmy this round, I will come back to that side in a second, but I mean, it's an amazing, robust machine. It also has, you know, when we were saying about that built-in walking foot and the built-in dual feed, if you see right to the side here, this little bit here actually pulls down completely and that's your walking foot and that clips into place as quick as that. So no more reaching for a screwdriver, no more trying to, you know, fiddle to change your feet or to put your walking foot on. That is completely, or losing it, yeah, how many times do you think, where did I put all those feet? Hannah's thought that multiple times today, I've lost it. Um, so yeah, this is fantastic for that. That is a built-in sort of walking foot that you can use then with all of your different feet. So if you've got your zipper foot on, but you're still doing your bag making with lots of fabric, you've still got that walking foot action, the dual feed going on built into the machine. I've also noticed this and I asked Gary what it was for and he says that's what you plug in your button holes for. So you actually plug that in and it's brilliant. It will really speedily uh, be able to, to do your buttonholes. It knows the size, it senses, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. So if we go back to that slide that we were just looking at, it is an amazing weighty machine I must say by the way. It's not one that um, is at all going to be uh, jumping around your table. It's, it is very weighty. Exclusive extras. I want to just highlight the part at the bottom of the screen there that's highlighted in red. So this is the important bit. You get your adapter shank. Now, this is the bit that we said, your adapter foot. So um, those of you that have had a different machine, a different brand in the past, and you've maybe bought lots of different machines, most low shank ones can be adapted 
with this machine. That is gonna save so much money. I think a lot of us who have invested in a machine, maybe have had an Eleanor, a Janome, a Brother, a, you know, a, 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 any of the, the different makes. If you've bought machines in the past and you've spent hundreds of pounds on additional feet, and you're wondering whether, you know, do I upgrade? I'm at that point where I do want a new machine, but I'm gonna have to invest in all the different feet again. No, you've got the adapter shank, which is brilliant for free today. You also get your free motion embroidery foot, an open toe one as well, which is brilliant. You get a pearl and beading foot. I'm thinking if you do, if you do uh, bridal, if you make your own bridal uh, commissions, I mean, this is just, stunning you have got the, the the pearl and beading foot your creative cording foot you've got your bias binding attachment you've got a grading foot and yeah we're going to give you some more bobbins as well um so that is worth 200 pounds of freebies extras i understand don't get me wrong that might not be you know the the be all and end all when it comes to saying i wasn't even thinking about this and i'm going to get it now because i get that but if you were thinking about upgrading and you were thinking about those really high-end spec machines then that might be the reason that you think, do you know what, that's £200 of feet that I might have to buy elsewhere or, you know, it wouldn't go with my machine. And you've got that for free. Also, it also listed what feet come as standard with this machine. So not only do you get those extras, you also have all of the feet, the pictures on there. That it's all very descriptive of, of the, um, the pictures. If we can go back to that same slide, please, sorry. Thank you. There you go. So you've got the buttonhole presser foot. You can see that it, it, it actually um, clips into the side of your machine. You've also got your straight stitch throat space. Um, you, you also have that straight stitch needle plate. So if you are doing lots of piecing, this is going to be brilliant for that. It is not going to chew up your fabric. It's going to give you that high performance, beautiful straight stitch. You've also got your straight feed dog that's amazing um you've also got in there your um quilt guide your uh all of your bits and bobs i'm just trying to see sorry it's all very small writing from in here uh what's the one second one down underneath the straight feed dog blind stitch blind stitch presser foot zipper presser foot all of those, I'm not going to read them all out, you can see them all on your screen, but then you also have, it contains in the packaging, your foot controller, your knee lift, your power cord obviously, you also get a really lovely sewing machine cover, a really big extension table, and then you get your really comprehensive uh, instruction manual. Right, let's have a look at the specifications of this machine. I am going to have to come round to the front of the desk to read this. It's all right. There was so much information that Hannah wanted to get it all on one screen. So here are the key points with this machine. So there you can see the size of the extension table, size of the throat space from the needle to the side is, is 12 inches, including all of your extension table. We've got 22.4 inches. It's huge. So your maximum sewing speed is 1,050 uh, stitches per minute. So that is a speedy sewing machine and it's not going to skip any of your stitches all of the uh you know all of the specifications are there the foot controller with independent foot switch so this is the the foot pedal that i was talking about with a foot controller that emphasizes stepping comfort so they've even thought about that the needle can be stopped at the precise location of your choice the foot controller also features excellent responses uh responsiveness for simple for sewing a simple stitch so this is what I love about it. It isn't just all about, you know, the crazy decorative stitches that you can do. It isn't a combination machine. It just sews very, very well. The foot stitch can be installed either the left side or the right side. If you're a lefty or a righty, they've covered that as well. And with that step controller, it isn't just, a, um, it isn't just the thread trimming. It's also reverse stitch, lock stitch, half stitch sewing, one stitch sewing, presser foot raising, trim threading or you can have it as no function so you can set it to which one you want at that time thread tension setting optimized for patterns so you can see there that's what the computer screen will look like easy to, to switch between uh, stitches and it will automatically adjust your tension you've also got the the bobbin thread counter as well so it'll tell you how much thread you've got left on your bobbin in meters it knows it's got that sensor so it will tell you when you're running low how amazing is that 
It is endless with this machine. It is, as I say, the absolute sort of spaceship of the sewing machine world. And this is uh, some more specifications. Oh, in fact, actually, right, this is more of the special features. So you've got the Juki Jewel Feed. That was the little lever that I pulled down earlier on that you could see. It's the Jewel Upper Feed Dog. It's an integrated walking foot. Uh, I know a lot of people sort of getting maybe a bit confused in between each one. I know it can be called different titles, but that is basically your dual feed system built in walking foot. Uh, beauty and ease of using a straight stitch uh, sewing machine. So can you see where it's circled? There's a little hole. If you look at your, maybe your other uh, needle plate, then it's wider than that. This will mean that you're going to be able to do just your beautiful straight stitches or curves and single lap stitching cleanly from the beginning of the seam. No more chewing up your fabric, which is brilliant. They're all of your extras for free as well. This is the game changer for me. This is something that is um, it is brilliant. The fact that you've got the adapter shank, the free motion uh, foot, the open toe, pearl and beading foot, creative cording foot, bias binding attachment, grading foot and your bobbins. There is so much that you get with this machine. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to cover everything in this hour. Uh, this is a no more info. There's so much information. But if you do have any questions, please get them in for Hannah, because um, if we can ask them, then we absolutely will. If we can answer them, if we can't, then we will find out. So you've got the box feed industrial sewing machine technology. So we said that this is a, you know, an industrial brand normally. Therefore, it, it is fantastic to be able to apply those to your home sewing. So the box feed technology utilizes, utilized in industry sewing machines, reliably feeds all types of fabric. It also creates perfect state stitching with, uni, with a uniform pitch. So if you are working with denim, if you're working with cottons, if you're working with your silk dupions, if you're working with really fine, beautiful cotton lawns, whether you're working with quilting massive quilts or thicker fabrics, this is going to be ideal for that. So your box feed is there. You've also got your presser foot pivot function. How good is that? So you'll be able to get really lovely smooth corners and your electronic feed dog control mechanism. Have a look on the Juki website, as I say, at all of these feature functions. These are taken from the Julie Juki website and Watch Gary, he's so good. And he makes it really user friendly. All of that information would make me think, oh my word, it's gonna to be too complicated for me. When you see Gary literally say, and that's how easy it is, and then you go onto that, and then you go onto that, you don't get Gary though. You don't get Gary. But it's definitely worth having a bit of a watch back because he will answer a lot of a lot of questions that you might have. And if I understand it, it is an investment. If you've got any questions for us, though, this is how you get in touch. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. I understand they're considered purchases, so it is really, really important that you do get in touch with Hannah if there's anything that you would like to know, because she's brilliant and she knows it all, don't you, Hannah? Knows it all. If she doesn't know, she says, I'll fold it on to someone else. Um, now, I'm not going to talk about this just yet, but there's three. There is three left. I knew that this would happen. Until September at least. Now, I've kind of put pressure on everybody here saying, September, come on, September. We want it back in September. Um, but there's no guarantee that we'll be able to get it then. I will come back for this. Um, if you do want it, we'll talk about it in a moment, if that's okay. Shall we talk about the 680? <sighs> you know how much this is. Right, this is a, a, a realistic for me, machine for me right now. It is. This is my dream machine. This is a machine that... Oh, I really love. I've got so many friends who are in the industry who are sewers. I've also got friends who just love to sew on a Sunday, uh, but also wouldn't class themselves as, you know, a novice, a complete beginner. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a beginner's entry level machine. It is still just over a thousand pounds, but oh my word, it is a beautiful machine. It is going to leave you with such professional finished 
products. Even my sewing looks great when I sew on this machine. I love it. It is a 680 plus. It's from Elna. Elna and Janome, just so you know, are under the same umbrella and they are fantastic at what they do. You get a two year warranty through Elna and uh, it has so many incredible features and functions. Uh, it is so user friendly and I think that is the reason that I particularly love this is because I can plug it in here at work and be able to just sew straight away. I can just get on with my projects, get on with my sewing, and I know that it's also going to, to manage all of my sewing. Sewing so machine that I'm working with at home at the moment, I've absolutely outgrown, and I'm like, come on, you can do it. We can get through this together, and I'm always worried about that part of it. You don't want to have to be willing your machine to do the job. You want to concentrate on getting everything done and let the sewing machine do its job. This will do it and give you a great professional finish. So, you've got so many different features and functions. We'll start on the screen and come back to the, um, the stitches if you want, Kat. We've got the variable speed control, so you can speed it up, speed it right up, or you can slow it right down if you're pivoting, if you're doing any, any intricate sewing, any intricate sleeves. Uh, if you do want to do anything slower, then you have got your variable speed control. You can also alter that whilst you're sewing. So it doesn't need to be a full miles an hour until you stop, you can alter it whilst you're sewing. The automatic thread cutter is one of our favorites. It's gonna save on thread, it's also gonna save on a lot of time, and it's in a really key handy place on your machine that you can always just access that. Your needle down, you saw Kerry using this. We always talk about how important it is, but not every machine offers that. Quite often you'll be reaching for your hand crank every single time that you stop sewing to just keep your, um, just to keep your machine, your uh, your foot in. I just noticed the foot looks really low here, but that's the dukey, by the way, behind. I thought, oh, that looks strange. You then also got your locking stitch. Say if you're having to go back and forth, if you just want to do that locking stitch on the spot, you can do it here. If you do want to do uh, your reverse, you've got your reverse stitch nice and handy. The start stop button means that you can use this with or without a uh, without a foot pedal. You've got your automatic thread cutter. Look at that automatic thread, sorry, uh, needle threader, not thread cutter, automatic needle threader. With this machine, you do get two different stitch plates. So you have your decorative, and then you also have your state, uh, straight stitch needle plate. At the top here, you've got a huge amount of stitches, huge array of utility stitches, buttonholes, satin stitching, quilting stitches, decorative stitches, alphabets galore. So you've got alphabets on here, you can do monogramming, you can do so much sewing. If you don't have an embroidery machine, or even if you do have an embroidery machine, it's nice to get your embroidery going and then your sewing machine going as well and still be able to offer those decorative stitches. What is it that you're showing us, Kat? Have a look at this. This is your features and functions. 170 stitches, including 10 buttonholes, built-in superior needle threader. She's like, are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, your needle uh, threader. You've also got your large sewing space. You will notice, actually, if I were to put this next to my lovely little, you can see the space on your 680 is a lot of space. It's hard to sort of see it when you just see it on its own. Um, but one of my good friends who used to work in um, factories said that he finds sometimes when you work on smaller machines, it feels claustrophobic. Whereas this machine, it's just so open. You've got lots of space. You've got beautiful lights on there as well. Um, so yeah, you know. So all of this space. Also, <laughs> you've got your. Um, you've got your free arm, so if you're doing any circular sewing, then you have got your, <laughs> you've got your, your space there to do any circular bags or sleeves or trouser legs. That's brilliant and easily detached. There's your other needle plate. So that's your decorative one, and the one that's in there at the moment is for straight stitches. Inside here, you've got some storage, plenty of storage, plus, more storage. This is what I love about this machine. You're not going to lose all your feet, are you? You're not going to lose all your feet. Can we go back to that first one, sorry, because I digressed, didn't I? I think I showed you a couple of um, a couple of uh, points there. 
and uh, and didn't go through them. So that was your large sewing space. You've got your maximum seed, which you can adjust up to a thousand stitches a minute. So it's a quick machine, and it's not going to skip any of your stitches. It's going to still sew every single one of those precisely and well. If it was, if it is starting to skip stitches. Um, then yeah, you, uh, you're doing something wrong or you uh, have got something wrong because it should not skip any stitches. Uh, it, there is a UK based customer service team, which I must say are fantastic as well. They really, really are. We ring them regularly. We know they're lovely because they don't even shout at us and we ring them a lot. We have lots of questions about things all the time. So we want to just get it direct from Elna. So you've got all of those stitches. You also have uh, your free arm, which I spoke about, your automatic and programmable thread cutter. Now, it's not on the foot like the Juki, it's on the, uh, on the machine itself there. So you can see at the top, underneath uh, where it's got the zero on the, on the screen, there's a little picture of the scissors with, uh, and a little picture of the locking stitch. So you can memorise both of those um, to be able to, to end your stitches with maybe a locking stitch and, uh, and your scissors, which is brilliant. It also has your press, pressure, presser foot pressure adjustment, your easy and guided bobbin threader. Uh, it's also got your bobbin thread upper thread sensors, your extra wide extension table, big extension table, and then you also get bobbins as well. On the screen itself, it's really lovely and easy to navigate around. Um, there's lots of, we like to call them little speed dials, don't we, Hannah? So you've got your speed dials at the bottom here. You've got your straight stitch, quarter of an inch. Uh, you've got a zigzag there and a buttonhole. You've got your little locking button, which is useful if you're changing any of your feet or your, your needle plate, and you've got any pores that might press it. It's good to be able to lock it in place. You've also got your memory button. You've got all your numbers to select your stitches. If you ever feel that you've pressed too many buttons and you just want to go back to the start, you've got that cancel button. C button will just take you back to your, your, your normal stitch. You've then got these call buttons here. So you've got a mirror option. Now it will show you on here in your manual which ones you can mirror image. There's lots of different decorative stitches that if you're doing borders, you can mirror it. You can elongate lots of your satin stitches. So even though we say there's 170 odd stitches, Actually, if you start changing some of them, it will default to its, uh, its sort of recommended stitch width and stitch length, but you can of course override them as well to customize to whatever you want. You can do twin needling with this machine. You can switch through the modes really easy, really quickly, and it's very, very efficient. You have a knee lift with it. If you're used to doing sewing with a knee lift, then that's great. It comes with it and a huge extension table. Uh, in fact, let's have a look at some of the standard accessories that you get with the machine. So it comes with your standard A foot. It also comes with your rolled hem foot, your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, your open toe satin stitch foot, your blind hem foot. It comes with an overlock foot. It comes with your quarter of an inch seam foot your darning foot, it comes with a convertible free motion quilting kit. So not only do you get that free motion foot, um, like we were seeing with Kerry, it comes with an open toe option, a closed toe option, and a clear view option. It's got an even feed foot, an automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizing plate, a button sewing foot, a circular pivoting pin, so you can do lovely circular uh, quilting. You've got a quilting guide bar, quilting guide bar with even feed foot, all of these. You've also got your straight stitch needle plate, all of the sort of standard accessories like your lint brush and your needle set and your seam ripper all included. Plus, at the bottom there, you can see your knee lift, your extra wide extension table, your foot controller, and a semi hard cover, the pink cover that you can see at the front here. I was going to have a look and see if I can find my extension table. I've misplaced it, but it's a really lovely. There it is, I haven't misplaced it at all. There's your, um, it does have a, I didn't even lose it. You've got the, the feet, there are legs that come to it that screw on. What I like about it actually is that the feet screw on and you can adjust them. So if you're working on a wonky table or if, you're, if your house isn't level, some of my rooms are a bit wonky sometimes. So it's nice to be able to adjust it so that you're lovely and perfectly flat. Okay. If you've got any questions, again, about this machine, it's really important today. You get in touch with us. It's an interactive show. You're not just watching a pre-record. We're here live and interactive. Uh, so please message in. Even if you're watching on a replay, even if it's after 12 o'clock, don't worry. If you message Facebook, then there's always someone who's monitoring it. So we'll get back to you. We'll be able to find out for you. That's your Elna 680 Plus. There's a lot that... Um, Again, we can talk about with this machine, it's got that extra lift, it's got 
beautiful features and functions. It comes just with a walking foot. It isn't um, integrated walking foot. It comes with a separate walking foot, easy to, to attach, included in your price. Because they're expensive. Sometimes you can pay another, you know, 50 pounds or so. Uh, if you are at that point of wanting to really take your sewing to another level, that machine is one to seriously think about. I love it. I know a lot of people who have got this machine and have this machine as a second machine. So I would still by no means call this an entry level machine. It's, oh, it's brilliant. Um, right at the start of Sewing Street, we we're really lucky that we have the connections with Alna that they said to us, look, we've got this new machine. We've all heard of the 570. We've done a revamped version, the 570A, and we launched it here, which is brilliant. They all sold out in that showing, all sold out straight away. And we've only just been able to get it back. Obviously, with all that's happened in the world right now, everybody's gotten into crafting and sewing. Everyone I'm talking to, there's friends who have known what I've done for the last few years and have just said to me, Vic, started sewing. Start, they're suddenly there asking me how to make things, what to do. I'm like, have you not been watching me the last few years? But um, no, they, a lot of people I know are getting into it. And of course, it's had a bit of a knock-on effect on the industry. A lot of people getting into sewing, a lot of people wanting new machines, upgrading machines, buying their first machines. And therefore, we've struggled to get hold of um, the stock that we've wanted to and that we've needed because a lot of people have found us during lockdown and over the last few months. Those of you that maybe borrowed somebody's machine during lockdown or dusted off an old machine that's been in the back, or if you did buy one of those machines that's, you know, around a hundred pound mark and you're thinking, do you know, I need something that's going to uh, sort of make my life a bit easier and uh, grow with me as a sewer. If you want to try a dabbling in dressmaking, bag making, quilting, you want to try making cushions and you want to do a bit of toy making, you love watching the show and you want to try everything like me. Um, this machine is brilliant. It's no, by any means, it's not an entry level machine. I understand it is uh, still a considered purchase, but for the features that you get on this machine, from my experience, you're normally spending nearer a thousand pounds. Hannah bought a very similar machine to this, and it um, was this price as well, an older model of this machine. She bought it a few years ago, and she said, gosh, do you know what, with the 570A, they have bought out lots of great extras that I didn't get with mine. It works fabulously and she loves her machine. It's, this, it's a very, very similar machine, an older equivalent, but it doesn't come with half of the extras that you get here. So let's talk through what you get with this machine that I know a lot of, a lot of machines that you're paying this sort of price point for, you might not necessarily get. So this machine comes with an extension, uh, an extension table in the price. You'll get an extension table. It also comes with uh, the new features of the 570A I'll go through first. You get the, uh, the memory thread cutter button. So you've got your thread cutter, like with the 570 before, but this time they've added in this memory function so you can automatically cut your thread at the end of every stitch. It's just going to save time and yeah, save any sort of thought process behind it as well. You've just got that the button there. It also has an extra mode. So you've got option one, option two, mode one and mode two, which are all of your stitches on the flashcards on the side. So all of your lovely, uh, all of your lovely utility stitches, buttonhole stitches, decorative quilting stitches. The 550, which looks quite similar, has got 50 stitches. The 560, again, looks very similar, has got 100 stitches. This has got 380 stitches. You are not going to run out of stitches. <laughs> if you do want to start trying any of these lovely decorative stitches that we saw with Kerry, these would be beautiful on there. But there's mode one, there's mode two, where's mode A you ask? It's in the back of your instruction manual, um, which is your alphabet. So it also includes now, latest edition, the alphabet monogramming, personalization, if you want to do gifts to people, if you want to do uh, quilt labels, you're going to be able to do it really quickly and create really easily on your machine. I know a lot of people who might sew on their holidays, people who have bought it for a second home or a caravan. I'm just showing you, it's lovely and lightweight. I'm not ready to join the gym yet, so I'm just gonna keep lifting this and show you how lightweight it is. But even though it's portable, it's great for me to lift. 
it's still, you've seen the, the, the demonstrators using this over the last few days. Kerry noticed how quiet it was and uh, it's really sturdy. <laughs> what are you saying, Hannah? You say, I'm not heavy, I'm just robust. I'm just not going to, you know, move around the table too much. Um, uh, I've just turned it off. On oh, There we go. So you've got uh, your free arm as well. It's got great features and functions that I think uh, we love as versatile sewers. So if you're thinking, right, I want to do bag making, having that free arm available is brilliant. Having the, the free arm for any dressmaking options as well, you've got it there. It's got a little storage box in there because you've got lots of little feet that come as standard. You do get a zipper foot, you get a, a quarter of an inch foot, you get an over edge foot, you also get a blind hem foot. There's so much that you get. Now, because this machine's on, I'll just talk you through the, the, the front panel here because it's really easy to navigate through your stitches. So say, for example, you want to do a I don't know, let's just pick one of these crazy stitches. Let's do 85. They're so fun. You can literally go through all the tens, get to 80, and then I'm going to number five. My needle is constantly moving as I, as I go through these, uh, the, the different stitches because it's automatically adjusting to what width and what length it's defaulting to its, uh, its stitch width and stitch length. Now, it's telling me I need my satin stitch foot. You don't need to know that. It will just tell you what. F. F is your is your sort of open satin stitch foot. So they're all named. They've all got the letters on them. So it won't let you do anything you're not allowed to do. Now, if you do want to sort of override the stitch, I'm thinking with any of the satin stitches, they look so cool when you start expanding them. So let's say, for example, number 36. I'm going to go back down to 30 and go up one to 36. This is at the moment set for perfect satin stitch for applique two millimeter width, I can expand that if I want to make it wider. I can go right up to seven millimeters wide. So it's going to change the look completely. Once again, it will tell me what foot to put on to do that. So there's, there's, there's so much, even though I'm saying there's 380 stitches, have a really good play with it because there's loads you can do. That's how you navigate through the stitches and override. If you do want to go back to its default setting, go to, to press C and then it will take you back to your straight stitch. You won't have changed anything, don't worry. I always like press too many buttons and then think, what have I done? You've got your buttonhole, your over edge, you've got your zigzag, you've got your normal straight stitch. It's got a memory, so if you do want to do any of these lovely decorative stitches in sequence, you don't have to keep changing and doing one stitch, changing and doing one stitch. It will have a memory as well. So you can do a lovely border of a spool and a pair of scissors. So much you can do. Now, this is a machine, we talked about price before with the Juki, and we're saying, look, same price everywhere. We've got such an amazing relationship with Jane and the team at Elna that we actually found it more expensive. It's £6.699 elsewhere. I've seen two places, actually, online this morning. Same one, £699, £699. We're at £599. And we're also throwing in some goodies, some extra bobbins. I know they're Janome, remember, they'll still fit in your Elna, it's the same company. You get your snips, you're going to get some lovely fabrics as well to get started with your sewing. It's £39.95 uh, worth of goodies uh, for free. If you are at that point of upgrading your machine or buying your first really special computerised machine, I personally, not just the recommendation from Sewing Street, I personally can't recommend this enough. I know Kerry's loved using this, Sally Ann was using it, we've had lots of um, Wendy using it yesterday. Everyone's commented on how lovely and quiet it is, how well lit it is, how beautifully it sews. Uh, we were going through wadding and layers of fabric and, uh, and without a walking foot even, it was still managing, managing it beautifully. So it's a great machine, but I'm thinking maybe as potentially somebody's second machine that doesn't want to go back to the basics when you're used to all of the, the great features and functions from the 680, lots of the sort of buttons and the bits and bobs you'll recognise again on this machine. So not only is the price brilliant, I'm really not here to rush or press you, but I'm just warning you, if you are at that point of being ready to go for it, go for it now. It will come separately from Elna uh, to your bundle. I'm just saying, right, if you get this and you think, where on earth is my sewing machine? Uh, it will come separately from Elna. This will come from us, but all under one postage and packaging. It comes with a two-gear warranty from Elna, and it also oh, is down to the last three. Last three that we have available. We started loads of these, by the way, two days ago. This was supposed to last us the next two months. 
So if you've already got one, oh, will you message me when you get it back? When you get it home, show us your projects. You will find, I think, it makes such a difference what sewing machine you're using, the end result. Getting that professional finish, I find that um, it really helps to, one, speed up my sewing, but also give me that accuracy. Love it. So because obviously these have been very, very, very popular, we've asked Hayley um, whether we could be a bit naughty and do yesterday's early bird on air. Now I know that sneaky eyes, when do Orlando, she saw that there were a few early birds still on the website. I didn't say that, you can have a look. But we're not allowed to do them on air normally the next day. Um, but we've asked very kindly, we've got 10 of each. Uh, we've got the purple and we've got also the turquoise. I'm just thinking if you've got your sewing machine, I don't want you to miss out on getting yesterday's early bird special prize because we've never had them full stop at any price. They've only ever been at early bird specials and they've sold out. So I don't know whether this is something we are actually gonna stock at a different price. It's just simply a special early bird special. Um, we're gonna start with the purple. It fits perfectly, the, the, the 570 fits perfectly in here. The 680 I think is going to be a bit too big, but if you've got any of the smaller machines, this is ideal. We were looking yesterday, we saw very similar bags over £20, some other beautiful bags out there, £30. I think when you are looking at a good quality sewing machine bag, the price point we found on this was absolutely brilliant. It's a big bag, beautiful lining, gorgeous colour, very practical. It's also got the zip in the front, whether you want to keep all of your extension leaves or any, any of your bits and bobs in there, um, your patterns potentially. It's also got a nice little uh, scissor. Look at that, your little scissor key ring. We've only got 10 of each. We're only allowed to show 10 of each on air, so do make the most of that if you love it. It's a pretty practical colour. So the height is 32 centimetres. The width is 46 centimetres and the depth is 21. They're on the description on the website if you want to have a look. If you look this up, the team will be able to help you. That is your special price of just £15.99. We've also got the turquoise. We've only ever had one of the sewing machine bag, actually, and don't be wrong, I love it, the Elna one, which is red. I just know that red isn't necessarily everybody's colour, is it? Whereas this is lovely. Your turquoise colour. $15.99, it is your special early bird prize. It was yesterday's early bird, not today. I know, we're breaking the rules. Only 10 of them though, Haley's allowed. 10 more people can get this at $15.99. I don't know what the uh, the price will go up to, but I'm presuming it'll probably be £21 then, because it was very similar to the one that we saw online. Your zips obviously open all the way down and you've got that extra stability from your Velcro strap on the handle. It's also got little feet, so if you are um, if you are taking it on the move or storing it away, you're not going to be clunking it down on the side anywhere. Just so you know, turquoise yesterday was very popular. It was actually slightly more popular than the purple. So if you do want the turquoise, be quick to check out. Fantastic. Right. Extra wide backing fabrics. I've got time to... Fingers crossed, show you them really, really quickly. I'm not going to be able to open them all out, but they are extra, extra wide. Extra, extra, read all about it. We've got the black one first. <laughs> so this is 108 inches wide or 280 centimetres wide. Extra wide fabric. So I've still got this in half, by the way. That is half. It opens up the same again. Maybe you're using it as a background on the quilt. You know the black and the greys for the new fabric that we had in the last hour, then this would, uh, this would go perfectly with that. Or if you wanted to do Sally Ann's fraction quilt that we saw yesterday, the day before, and yesterday at 12 o'clock, um, then this would look great as the background for that as well. Oh, lovely. Brilliant just to be able to have lots of fabric for just eight pounds, 99 a half meter. We've got the green. Was that one ending in 28 yet? I just lost my sticker. It was the, um, it was foundation paper piecing, wasn't it yesterday? Oh, that's gonna be your repeat so I'll tell you about it in a second. So, we've also got your crossroads, beautiful green. And I like the fact that it isn't just a solid green. You've got that bit of interest, bit of extra um, sort of mottled effect. Now it is 100% quilting weight cotton. 
You can still use this by all means for the front of your quilt. It doesn't mean just because it says backing fabric that you need to use it for backer quilts. You could use it for bag linings, you could use it for bag fronts. You'd be able to make loads of straps or what about just getting half a meter and making loads of binding? Have a day, just making binding. Eight pounds, 99, a half meter. Once again, I'm not opening it all out because we're low on time, but that's 280 centimeters wide. I've got it in gray. This is the only other one that we have in this colorway. We had it really, really popular in, in all colorways, but they've um, obviously sold out. Grab it whilst you can. It's brilliant value for money. And there aren't very many shops that stock this amount of color variety with extra wide fabric, because you can imagine they come on huge bolts. They simply don't have the space. 8 99 a half meter. This is your shadow, white and gray. I think that's going to go with everything, isn't it? There's only two and a half meters of this, so let's move on. Red. Christmas starts tomorrow. This is going to be great for any of your Christmas projects. Have you got the pinwheel quilt from today? This would look great on the back of your Christmas um, quilt from today. That all sold out. You're going to need some backing for it. This would be ideal for that. Maybe if you're making another one. Just eight pounds, 99 and a half meter. Your extra wide backing fabric in red. And I do like the sort of crisscrossy design. You can use it on the front. Doesn't mean it's any lesser quality. If you're using it for dressmaking, it'd be lovely as well. It'd just be a bit more structured cotton. Tell you what, it's just great value quality fabric, isn't it? Brilliant price on for any fabric, for any projects that you've got. Right, we've also got the lovely blue. You want to make, um, Hannah was always thinking, if anybody at home or anybody knows somebody that's, um, you know, children have got bunk beds and they want to do like a, a curtain to have their own little space. Yeah, I think that'd be so cute. Lovely, or oh, teepees. When you're looking at extra wide backing fabric, brilliant to make big dens and teepees. Bean bags, big uh, cushions, and they're beautiful. Eight pound ninety nine. You're getting all my chins in that shot, then, Cap. Stretching my neck out. Two hundred and eighty centimeters wide, hundred and eight inches. That's gorgeous color, isn't it? So I'm just hiding all of my chins. Thank you. It brings out the uh, the blue in my green eyes. Thank you. And then, I've also got. The green. This is the one that you want to make your giant um, crocodile. Yeah, she just says it so. Yeah, that's the one I want to make my giant crocodile out of. I just want to open it all out so you can see, look, from the front of the desk. This is how big your giant crocodile is gonna be. Look at it, that is amazing. There is so much fabric. You could even do like deck chairs with it. It just reminds me like this, couldn't you? That'd be lovely for um, deck chairs. Things for your garden. Big bean bag to sit out in the garden. Oh, it's going to be too hot to sit in the garden tomorrow, isn't it? Is it warm where you are today? Well, we have no idea what the weather's like outside, but uh, yeah, apparently it's going to be nice. You can see the sun. I haven't heard the birds chirping outside today. Eight pounds, 99, 280 centimeters wide for 8.99. And it is, of course, your chance to get as much as you want, cut off the bolt, especially for you. That's just eight pounds, 99. So, as I say, yesterday, we had a great show with Wendy Orlando, um, and there is gonna be another repeat coming up after this show today now of when she did foundation paper piecing. Now, the book was really, really popular and it sold out but she does a fantastic demo on foundation paper piecing. So definitely stay tuned for that. Tomorrow's show though, it's Christmas. How excited are we? Alison Marion's here, Kerry's here, Victoria Pete. Oh my word, we have got so much coming up. Victoria lives in Gibraltar. So she's very, very kindly done us a video, but it's a full jam packed day. Eight o'clock, you've got Christmas apron, with beautiful Alison. I've not met Alison yet and I love her. She's so good, she's so nice. So it's her show coming up at eight o'clock. And then, of course, 
How could we do Christmas showcase without a bit of Liberty? We've got a Liberty Christmas collection. That's going to be exciting. That's with John Cole Morgan at nine. Eight o'clock, we've got alternative Christmas crackers. Oh, they sound exciting. That's with Alison. At 11 o'clock, we've got Fat Quarter Fun with Kerry. Christmas Fat Quarter Fun. And then at 12 o'clock, they're on for five hours. Remember, extended show, live for five hours tomorrow with the last hour is going to be a video um, with Victoria, Pete, your Mr. and Mrs. Christmas cushion coming up at 12 o'clock. Now, just very, very quickly before we hand over to yesterday's show, myself and Wendy, we've got limited availability on our wadding by the half meter. It only came into stock yesterday. It's six pounds 99 and a half meter and that is I mean look you get loads and loads and loads and loads and loads for 6.99 um Kerry was saying do you know with most of our projects he quilts it whether it be a cushion front whether it be little makeup bags whether it be um wall hangings she likes to put wadding into all of her projects just to give it that lovely little loft into a, a tote bag as well she did it it's just 6.99 and that's going to do for so many projects isn't it Always keep your off cuts as well because they'll they'll come together for smaller projects. Oh, it's so pretty. And it, I must say, it's so soft. When I say pretty, I mean it's just making everything so gorgeous and soft. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Light and soft. You could quilt the outside of your crocodile. Yeah, Hannah, great idea. And then, yeah, before you stuff it. Uh, that's just six pound 99 a half metre. Oh dear, it's been one of those days, hasn't it? It's been one of those weeks, in fact. <laughs> Hannah says, this is getting a bit, uh, this is getting a bit of a, a repeat occurrence. Everybody says that, oh, it's been one of those days. When Hannah's been here, it's been one of those days, hasn't it? Enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the weekend. Hannah's gonna be with you, so it's gonna be one of those days. We've got Christmas coming up. Don't forget, as I say, there's a brilliant, brilliant uh, foundation paper piecing show that we're going to replay with, uh, with Wendy Orlando. It was brilliant. She was ever so clear. She'd never done foundation paper piecing before. You wouldn't believe it when you see the cushions that she made. It's gorgeous cushions. Uh, so absolutely stay tuned for that. Um, there's some treats for Christmas the, this weekend. There really, really is. I've got a feeling this weekend, though, we could have told you that this had sold out. So today... Have a serious think about it. Any of the machines that we've been showing you today, I understand they're considered purchases, but it's definitely worth still making the most of it. They're absolutely brilliant value for money and great machines. Um, what do you mean Christmas? Am I allowed to say on air? Christmas pageants. Surprise. Okay. I'm not allowed to tell you. If you buy something, you get a little surprise as well. <gasps> Stay tuned, do make sure you um, you join John tomorrow morning. Five hour special, remember. Five hour special competitions, loads of amazing kits all coming up. There's a replay uh, coming up after this and John will see you for Christmas tomorrow at eight o'clock.